Today, I brought Pokemon to Minecraft. I spent 24 hours in the world of Koppelmon. What is Koppelmon, you may ask? Koppelmon is this brand new mod in Minecraft that brings Pokemon to their game, but in their more natural and blocky forms. I mean, just look at these guys. And today, I will be exploring a world full of them. I'll be catching them, battling them, I will find shinies, and even take on legendaries. And one more thing, this mod pack was genuinely so much fun to play, and I would easily be down to do 50 hours. So if you'd like to see that, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. 25,000 likes, and I will do 50 hours. Anyways, let's get started. So here we are in the beautiful world of Cobblemon. Just look at these models. So here, as you can see on the screen, it says press M to begin your journey. We get to choose our starter. All the starters are not in the game yet, but I was thinking I was going to choose Trico until I kid you not. I went to Target today and I found a Torchic plush. And that's why we're going with Torchic, baby. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I love Blaziken. Look at him. I'm sorry, Joltik. He just so happened to be part bug. So, uh... Ah, it's just getting a little bit of XP from you. Sorry, man. So one funny little thing you could do, you could actually kill the Pokemon the regular way. You don't have to battle them. I'm not going to be doing that very often, but not going to lie, it is pretty funny. All right, crafting bench. We're going to get ourselves an axe because I get to chop down trees the lazy way. You ready for this? Boom, beautiful. I figured, you know, if I want to do some cool builds, might as well be able to harvest all the stuff that I can. All right, so let's go ahead and get ourselves a pickaxe. Now that we've got a pickaxe, we can go ahead and get some stone. Is that a slab? It's kind of cursed. I see opportunistic time here. Look at this. We had a Butterfree over here, or a Beautifly. What level is he? What level are you? 15? I could take you. Stop, stop running from me. Accept your fate. Ooh, look at that damage. He poisoned me? I need to get some iron so I can make a way to heal my Pokemon. Level 15? I just got five levels. What? Ooh, wait. Kakuna. Kakuna's like the prime XP farm. Look at this guy. He's thick with three C's full of XP. Let's flame charge this guy. We're gonna have we're gonna have a combuskin in no time. Okay. Uh combuskin! Look at that! That was really fast and wow. The 3D model for Combuskin, um, Oh, we got Combuskin on our team. Let's go into this dark, eerie cave, see if we can find some iron. I'm also going to need some food. There wow, okay, it was a non-existent cave. That's that's cool. The cave is not real. Okay, how do I make Pokeballs, let's say? So let's say I want to make some Pokeballs, right? I need red apricorns, and I need copper. Oh, so I actually have, like, a reason to mine copper now. These caves are so pretty, though. They are so beautiful. I can actually, you know, take my time, enjoy the cave. I kind of thought, you know, whether or not I should put hostile mobs in the game. Have it be like hostile mobs and Pokemon. What just happened? Wait! Combuskin just died! What just happened? Don't tell me that water damages fire type Pokemon and he just fainted. My guy! Also, he has lonely nature, which is not the best, but it's kind of okay if I get like blaze kick. This is so cool, though. You can see, like, his stats. You can see his IVs. You can see his EVs. Base stats. You can see friendship. This mod is so cool, and honestly, it's only going to get better. Dude, this cave is beautiful. Just look at this place. And there's an Onyx. I would love to get some fighting-type moves and beat your butt, Onyx, but, uh... My Combuskin died to death. If I can't fight the Pokemon, I'm gonna fight the Pokemon. Sadly enough, you don't get XP from battling. So one of the only ways that you can get XP besides like mining and stuff is to physically kill the Pokemon. Good times, right? This is like one of the fastest days that has that, that could have gone by. Oh, look at that. There's there's little, there's Bidoof swimming. There's Bidoof swimming in the ocean. Because this is not working out. I've got no iron for tools. We got to find a real cave. This cave is just coal. We did find copper. Copper is good. So now we got to, I guess, set out at nighttime to see if we can find some apricorns or maybe enough iron to make shears so we could actually, you know, 
get some wool and make a bed to sleep away the dark. Okay, so I I guess water can drown Pokemon. Uh, a Wooloo just drowned and he dropped me a... Uh, I'm sorry, Garvantula. I think you're a really cool Pokemon, but like... Natural selection takes even the best of us. Maybe I could just skip out in the iron altogether and just, <laughs> just make it this way. Oh, cool. Okay, apricorns. I guess these ones are not ready. Maybe, maybe they're brown before they are like ready. I did find two blue apricorns, which I think I can use to make like a great ball. How do I make great balls? Oh, great balls are iron with blue and red. So you're actually going to have like a good use of a lot of the stuff that you can mine in this. That's kind of cool. Oh, my combuskin's back. I need to make sure I don't put him in any water. He's going to die to death again. Let's see. Let's get this Oddish. Come here, Oddish. Oh, I didn't mean to punch him first. Yeah, we're going to fight. Ooh, okay, yo. Caterpie, fight me. I'm going to get as much easy XP while I'm here as I can. Let's go. Level 17, he grows. I'm thinking our goal here is we're going to find a village. And I'm going to abuse villi- I mean, I mean, I'm going to, um, rightfully trade with villagers for all of their resources. Since the sun had gone down and I wasn't having much luck with caves, I continued heading my way through this forest while taking out a bunch of the Pokemon along the way. Unfortunately, though, after only a couple of fights, my Compuskin was down to pretty much one HP left. So I found myself not even being able to battle more Pokemon. I was just looking for a source of iron so I could start making Pokeballs and start catching some Pokemon. All right, just look at these Gyarados. Look at them. There is a pile of Gyarados as the sun rises. They are so cool. Look at the textures on these guys. Look at their models. This is like one of the coolest Minecraft mod packs ever. One of my biggest things that I always kind of had as an issue against like Pixelmon was how Pixelmon as a mod kind of just felt like it took over Minecraft, you know? You weren't playing Minecraft anymore, you were playing Pokemon in Minecraft. Versus this mod, where not only do the models themselves look like they belong in Minecraft, but they like fit in. Ooh, sugarcane. I need sugarcane for paper, because we're gonna need fireworks. Lots of fireworks when you use Elytras to explore the world and catch as many Pokemon as we can. Look at these Gyarados! Why are there so many? This is one of the worst biomes to have started in. I was kind of hoping for like a much cooler biome, maybe something a little more, you know, like fields, maybe a village, maybe like something a little more survivable, not not so much dense forest with water. I, I don't even have iron yet. I haven't found iron. So at this point, with still no iron in my inventory, I had two options. I could either dig straight down and try to find a cave to mine or just keep exploring. And for now, I decided to do the latter. And luckily, it finally paid off because I found my first structure in the world, a nether portal. Oh, hey, it's a Pikachu. Look at you. How does it feel when you're when you're retired now? Anyways, we found a nice little uh portal out. We found a nice little portal over here so we can get. Ooh. We got ourselves a pickaxe. Got ourselves a sword, some pants, and a silk touch hoe, which is kind of funny. Is that a sheep? You know what? They're not supposed to spawn. But I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Maybe, maybe we will make some animal farms. I mean, I guess it's kind of real if you think. It's like realism because in the world of Pokemon, they, they're they using Pokemon for stuff. You just don't see it, right? You don't know about it and you don't see it. What level are you, Caterpies? 17? Yeah, you know what? We're going to beat up a bunch of easy Pokemon here. OKOs every day. Oop. I, I didn't do that. Ooh, that Haunter. I saw another Beedrill over here. Kakuna's good XP. Oh, I'm out of moves. So I think some of the Pokemon I really, really want to find in this are some of my favorite Pokemon. If you've seen me post the post on Twitter about which Pokemon are my favorite, then you already know. By the way, you should go follow me on Twitter. But yeah, if you saw the post on Twitter, some of my favorite Pokemon, Umbreon, Salmence, Rayquaza, and Chandelure. And I think two of them that I especially would like to get here would be Umbreon and Salmons, because I love Salmons and Umbreon. I would probably say Salmons is my go-to favorite Pokemon, like all-time favorite, but I do love Rayquaza as a close second. I don't know if you can get legendaries in this mod as of yet, though, so we're gonna have to just wait for that. 
Also, yeah, I'm just killing the cows for loot. I mean, I don't... The cows are still spawning. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not just going to not loot them. All right, I spent the night exploring around, and I found this nice little lava pool right here. I was hoping some fire Pokemon would spawn, but I mean... We did get a cricket tomb. This guy's level 30. There's a high likelihood he could smoke me if he hits me at the right move. Oh, he's burned. No, wait, 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 wait. No, I'm not trying to capture it. No, no, no. Oh. How much XP? Level 26. You're not supposed to be in this spawn pack. Oh, sorry, man. I want to find a cave. I need Pokeballs. We almost have a Blaziken at this point, and we don't have any Pokeballs. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a crafting bench. Pop down this bad boy, and we are going to make ourselves a bed. Which, for some reason, does not auto-complete in my recipes? Question mark? Bed. Boom. Look at all the XP in the chat. You know, I just want to say... Ooh! Actually, hold that thought. We found apricorns. Maybe we'll find some seeds while we're at it. We got some blue ones. Oh, it's a cocoon. I thought it was a yellow one. We got some blue apricorns. And I saw another tree over there that was like pink. But first, Kakuna, you gotta go. What I was gonna say though, is this mod that I have for these biomes, they are so beautiful. It really makes me feel like I'm playing in like World of Pokemon. Yo, look at this Torkoal. I would take you out if I could, buddy, but I don't think I can. Okay, so down here we have pink. Awesome. I, I think pink's made for like love balls and a couple other ones. Oh, nice, nice. We got our first seed right here. Pink apricorn seed. I don't know if they grow trees like this. If they do, that's actually kind of incredible because these trees are like, they have tons of apricorns on them. Also, big brain idea here. Silk touch hoe. Hear me out here. Silk touch. No. That that's just okay. Oh, we have acquired our next easy target right next to another apricorn tree. Fortress. Aerial lace. Ooh, it does like nothing. He's raising his defense. He's got insane defense. At this point, I'm going to run out of PP before I even kill this thing. If I had flamethrower, I could kill it. Yeah, there's no way. I, I have to run. There's no way. I, I can't. He's got too much health, man. You know, I may not have found a cave yet, but I am already getting a lot of the big resources that I can use to trade for emeralds. Look at this. Pumpkins. Pumpkins for villagers. Let's go. I want to see cool servers made with this mod pack. No microtransaction filled pay to win servers like Pixelmon. I said it. I want real servers. Fun servers where you can play with friends. Yeah, so uh, I need, I need iron. Definitely need iron so I can actually catch Pokemon. So we need to find a cave. But first, we're going to go ahead and sleep because it is hard to see anything right now. But overall... I mean, we've almost got a Blaziken already. Oh, I found an actual cave. Please, iron. This is not looking very promising. I like the addition of slabs, though. Slabs are pretty cool. Imagine if regular Minecraft had, like, slabs in, like, the terrain. That'd be kind of dope, actually. Since it's not my- it's not hardcore mode, I could just dig straight down and not have to care. And there's no mobs, so I don't have to worry about what's even down here. I can just go straight into a cave. And we can just dig the regular way. Because I want resources. I want diamonds. I want iron. I want I want to catch Pokemon. I love this map. This map is so good. Okay, now we're like directly over top of a cave. Although it's another like foresty kind of cave. There's a huge cave system next to us. You know what? Let's go. We got lapis. Oh yes! Iron. Wait, is that surface? Are you telling me I was, like, right next to this? Okay, we got lots of iron, though. I don't care. We got 21 already. That is pretty good. So we're gonna make ourselves a crafting bench right here. We're gonna make ourselves two furni, the plural of furnaces. Don't at me. And we're gonna start cooking our 
Beautiful iron. I'm not going to prioritize making armor yet. Because I do want to make some actual tools so we can start mining other materials besides just... Can you can you mine iron with with gold? Let's see. What purpose does this pickaxe have? Garbage. I spit on you. Take your stupid hoe as well. Yes. I still can't make pokeballs since I don't have apricorns, but we can at least, you know, harvest all of this iron that we can see down here. And then let's put you right there. And we're going to cook some copper so we can make our healing machine. In the meantime, get some sticky boys. Whoops, not what I meant to do. Get some sticky boys. Make ourselves an iron pickaxe. Let's go. And now we can get more iron. I'm probably not going to mine all the copper. Copper is like really, really common. I used to always mine like everything. Like I was the kind of player back in the day of Minecraft where I was like, yo, we're going to mine everything I see in any cave ever. And I would have friends that would get upset at me because I would go back behind where they used to mine. And I would like mine some coal or something and there'd be diamonds under it. And they're like, yo, I missed that. What the heck? And I'm like, oh, you should mine everything, chump. But honestly, with copper, copper is just way too common for that. Copper spawns everywhere and like there's tons of it. And there's not even a use. At least like iron, you could, you know, have uses for days. You can make tons of buckets. You can make minecarts, rails, whatever you want to waste it on. Or you can just make tons of random tools to enchant or whatever. But copper, what, you make lightning rods? Woo, lightning rods, my favorite. All the homies love lightning rods. Okay, by now, this should be done now. So we should get, we got iron, iron. We're going to smelt all of that as well. We got copper. And I should be able to make a healing machine. And unlike Pixelmon, you can pick them up. Now we place it. And boom. Combuskin is all healed, baby. We can fight some more Pokemon. Now that I had a healing machine to actually heal my Pokemon and get more moves back, and I had new found tools to begin mining, it was time for me to pick this cave clean of every ounce of iron that I could find because I was going to need a metric boatload for the future to craft Pokeballs. Okay, honestly, I have only just begun to scratch the surface of this cave. This thing is massive and the resources are immense. I have already got like, I've got lapis, I've got some gold, nine raw iron blocks plus 43 more iron, tons of resources, and I found some redstone. I'm also starting to run out of food. I've only got 13 melons left, which is not... Not great. I know I'm surrounded by glow garbage, but they're they're one of the worst sources of food in Minecraft. Don't at me. After getting back to what I called my base camp, I made myself a blast furnace and I began condensing and smelting out my resources so I could be on my way. Before I knew it, I had pretty much already spent hour two of this journey just down inside of these caves. I was in here mining for 60 straight minutes. I literally had to stop myself from continuing to grab more resources. But at least now that I had my iron, I was prepared to get ready and go back to the surface to hunt down some apricorn trees and a village to find a nice place to call home. All right, it is time to pick up and go. We've got, so I kind of condensed a bunch of my inventory a lot better. We've got 22 blocks of iron, 20 blocks of copper, 22 blocks of lapis. I, a lot of lapis. But real quick, I did notice something as well. I could make Azor balls, right? Which are regular Pokeballs. However, I can make net balls and try to catch Gyarados. So we at least had some kind of coverage. So my Combuskin is now level 34 as well. Meaning two more levels or one, I don't exactly remember for Combuskin. And I can evolve him into Blaziken. So some Pokemon can drop like items and stuff. And you can get like XP shares. And XP shares would help immensely for training Pokemon. Especially since I kind of learned that XP shares don't actually work how they do in the regular games. 
instead of it sharing XP and taking away from the main Pokemon, essentially just generates free XP. Okay, so I was going to go over here and just do some quick mining on the way out, but there's way too much stuff to mine over here. So instead, we're going to wipe the floor with this Ghastly and be on our way. Speaking of Pokemon, too, I really want to get some Psychic types to kill because Psychic types will give us Ender Pearls, which we need to go find the Stronghold, get the dank loot from the Stronghold, and then leave. Or go to the end, I mean. Not not leave. I'm not I'm not dad or anything. What is that? Wait, what is this? What is this? Oh, we found an ore! We found a um a stone. Wait, 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 wait. What, what can I get rid of this? Yo, we found a dusk stone! Let's take out Kakuna for some easy XP. He's only level 18. He's just a little baby. Just a wee lad. Also. It is time. My son. Become Blaziken. Look at this dude. Look at him. Okay, his stance is kind of weird, but he's really cool looking. Look at this guy. Of course. Come on, man. Come on, man. Dude, that's sick. Look at how screenshot worthy that is. That's so cool. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. I just broke. I just broke a pickaxe because of that. He ruined the screenshot! Anyways, run a mission. Run a big boy mission here. Our goal is to find apricorns. We need lots of apricorns. Also, if you have bones or bone meal, you can use uh you can use them to grow apricorns. And you can have a higher chance of actually <gasps> Did he just what He just killed my Blaziken. Oh, you can't just You can't just place the machine back down. It needs that Oh Alright, I was just gonna wait it out. But first off, Lopini, haha, funny meme Pokemon. But also, there is a red apricorn bush right here, right above the cave. Oh, and there's a stone right above the cave we were just at. Dude, this is... <gasps> and we got a seed! We got a seed! Let's go! We can make more apricorns. And because we were in this, like, area the whole time... Oh, we got a bunch of seeds. Also, we have a stone right there and a stone right there, which I'm going to collect these while we're waiting. There's another dust stone. Nice. We got two dusk stones. Those give really good XP too. And where was the other one? Nice. What is this? Dawnstone? That looked like a diamond for a second there. I was about to freak out. Oh, yeah. Dawnstone. Nice. All right. And now we can heal our Blaziken. That was absolutely memed on. And let's... uh. Let's sleep over here and see if the apricorns will grow back. All right, any apricorns? I... Oh, nice. I guess I technically don't need them. I want to see how they plant, but I mean, if they become trees like this, I guess that that's fine. I don't want to waste any seeds, so let's just keep moving on. Now that my Combuskin had become a ferocious Blaziken and my inventory was becoming a huge issue, I continued setting off in the hopes of finding a good place to call home. Ideally, along the way, I could find myself a waystone or two so I could start using teleports and maybe I could find a nice village to call a makeshift home for me to use all of their services to provide me with ample amounts of wealth to make my way in this brand new world. You know, these biomes just look so good. This stuff is so pretty. It really feels like I'm in like a like a lost region of like Pokemon, but I do wish I'd, you know, find a village. I kind of... What was that? I saw something over there. These are not like, they're not temples. What is this? Okay, there's iron inside of them, which is kind of weird, but I guess they're just like cobble. Ooh, we can go for a haunter maybe. Oh, there's a mischievous over there. I mean, Gengar is a glass cannon. Should I, should I go for it? Let's see. Let's see what happens. If I flame, no, flame charge. Does flame charge kill? It does not. Yo, let's go for it. Come on. Come on, Haunter. I want a Gengar. Come on, Haunter. Let's get a Gengar. Yo, we got a Haunter. Let's go. With my team expanding now that I had Pokeballs, I continued setting out even further along my way to try and find a place of interest to at least loot or maybe find a nice place to even call home. Because let's be honest, I do this every single video and my inventory is always excessively full of of every little thing that I find along the way. So it was safe to say I was in desperate need of a place to store my things. That's a weird looking Pokemon. I'm looking for like a waypoint. I need a waypoint or a waystone, whatever you want to call them. So that way I can actually 
you know, have a place to... Should I get a boat? Should I make a boat for this? What if I just chuck a ball at one of these guys? What level are you? 39? There's no way that catches. There's no way. Come on, Gyarados. Yo, it just caught! I am very happy about our team so far. Well, let's go to sleep, and maybe we'll just make a boat and, I guess, journey out there. Because this, uh, this area kind of sucks. Alright, it's now the next day, and my Blaziken is a beast. Look at him just burning this beach full of mobs. Or Pokemon, I guess. These poor defenseless Bellsprout. They came to the wrong neighborhood. My dude is making barbecue. Alright, let's set off and maybe find an actual place. I'd like to find something kind of like a plains biome because, uh... These dense forests kind of suck to explore and kind of suck to make a basin. And a lot of water it was. To say that this ocean was big would be an understatement. Because I found myself sailing through this place full of endless Magikarp and Gyarados and other useless Pokemon like Tentacool with almost no land in sight for a solid five minutes. Wait, did I hit actual land now? Please tell me I found real land. I hate water. I hate worlds that have mostly water. Unless I'm doing like an ocean only world, then it makes a lot of sense. You know what I mean? If I find a village here, I will take the Waystone, but I'm not living there. I refuse to live in a village in an acacia biome. I do not like acacia. It is ugly. The thing that sucks about apricorns is when you're trying to like find different areas that have them, they're always like this where they're not fully like produced and you have to either wait for them to grow or just you just don't get them. Oh, we got some pink ones too. I don't, do I have pink yet? I do have pink. I got more seeds though. I'll take it. Okay, this island might suck, but I did just find a Snorlax. Look at this boy. I got to take this guy down. I got to take him down. Oh. Oh, he's got a lot of health. Okay, Aerial Ace has more damage. Oh, he might kill me. Please don't. Please don't. You got 2% No! Oh, you've got 2% health! Gyarados, we're finishing the job. Come on. Give me the crunch. Beautiful. How much XP? Oh, he dropped an apple. Huh. But yeah, this um this is just another island along with the rest of the islands. And we have to make another boat and set back out to actually find real land. So that's fun. So at this point, it was now hour four. And um, interesting story about hour four. While recording the beginning part of it, my PC decided, hey, yo, blue screen? Yeah? Which is odd. I don't think I've ever actually had a blue screen on this PC, but whatever. So yeah, my main PC that I'm recording off of blue screened and I was recording to mp4 file format meaning that the footage is pretty much dead but long story short I crafted myself a traveler's backpack similar to the ones in the spider mod videos and I kept traveling on where I eventually ran into this machoke that I caught and I was just about to give my blaziken the move blaze kick so yeah I wish you could have seen all the things that I did find I found this really cool structure hidden underground, but I I guess if you're hearing this, then you probably will never see that footage, just like I will also never see it. I love how this is random b -doofs. just chilling in the water. <laughs> Look at him! Look at his tongue! What'd it do? I Should I catch? I have to catch a lick of tongue, right? I have to. Level 32? Okay, you know, we're gonna use Haunter. Actually, I don't think I can even... I uh, no, I can't even use Haunter. Let's use Munchlax. Is he gonna kill Munchlax? Uh, Body Slam. There's no way it's gonna do that much. Okay, you know what? That's that's okay. Ooh, okay, perfect. Go catch. I've only got two Pokeballs here, so let's get the Lickitung. Purely for the meme, because he is really disturbing looking. Nice! Okay, I, I found apricorn trees in the distance, and I was going to them, and as I was making my way over there, I almost fell into this. You know what, let's let's actually put the bed out, let's sleep, because we really don't need to be here. Ooh, is that a heat more? 
Oh, and there's, another, there's a apricorn tree over there as well. Oh, they're pink. I'm, I'm about to run out of Pokeballs, and I want to catch more things. I wonder if I need a PC to catch more Pokemon. We got to find a place to get situated so we could actually start just, like, making stonks. I really do like these biomes. I like the blue grass. It's pretty chill. This is, like, the first one of these videos in a while that I wasn't being chased, to, like, chased down to death by anything and everything in the world. This is the first, like, I'm just casually strolling next to no, like, risks in the distance yo this biome though is full to the brim of apricorn trees i'm gonna have so many apricorn seeds ready for our base yo let's take out this graveler now is the opportune time high jump kick if i miss he's probably gonna kill me it missed and he killed me it is a 10 percent chance so let's place the healing machine Oh, it's got a charge. That's so lame. Okay. In the meantime, let's look up a PC. You can make like PCs to store your Pokemon with. What does it cost? Oh, it's just iron and glass. Okay. That's not bad. So let's grab two pieces of sand. Because I didn't keep any from before. We got two pieces of sand. And we're going to grab our smelter. Boom. Throw sand in there and one coal. And then it's just iron, right? Four iron. We've got four iron on us. Perfect. Gyarados, personal space. Come on, man. What is this? I don't know how the PC actually works. Yo, it makes the noise. Okay, we're going to put him in there and we're going to put Munchlax in there. I really don't need either of them. And we're going to keep our boys with us. I'm going to break this. I'm assuming it saves. If not... I may have just killed our Pokemon. Yo, are those Milk Tank? I have to kill some Milk Tank. I, I mean, uh, befriend some Milk Tank. What did I say? Blaziken, you know what to do. No Milk Tanks get to live here. In with the Blaze Kick. Damn, I did like nothing. I jump kick. Destroyed. I wonder if they drop milk. Oh no, it dropped its meat. Oh, is that an Amolga? You're not shiny, are you? I don't think it's shiny. I'm gonna kill it. Oh, it's 5%. No, we're gonna catch it. If it is shiny, we just caught it for a shiny. I don't think it's shiny, though. Come on, man. That's my only Pokemon. Come on. Yes, Amolga. Wait, lucky color. Wait, is it shiny? How do I tell? It's got the star! Wait! No, 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 no. What is that achievement? What is that achievement? Catch your first shiny Pokemon! I almost just killed him! At this point, things were going pretty well for me. I had had my first blue screen, losing half of my last hour of footage, and after recuperating from that, I found my first shiny Pokemon. Only thing is, at this point, I have not found almost any structures at all in this world. So that got me thinking, you know, I would like to find some waystones and more importantly, I would like to find a village for easy resources. So while looking through the possible things I could craft, that's when I was reminded about this beautiful thing that I like to call the Explorer's Compass. With this bad boy, you can locate and track down any structure that you want whatsoever which normally in like hardcore minecraft i kind of feel is a bit cheap and maybe even cheating however today we are focusing on the experience that is pokemon so honestly if i find a couple extra structures it'll only add to the fun i mean after all it's not like there's any challenge there anyways because there are no hostile mobs Ooh, garvantula Ooh, g g i've had enough spiders already thank you please Get away from me. Drop string. Okay, he dropped string. He dropped one singular string. I need 20. Okay, Pineco. Flame kick. Man, all these Pinecos have sturdy. Drop me. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay, Pinecos drops. Okay, this is not a drill. Pinecos drop string. We're going on a Pineco rampage. Okay, I've had really bad luck getting string from these guys, but hey, look, I found a golem. 
I'm gonna take a gamble here on this golem and high jump kick it. If I miss... Oh no, he's got sturdy! I'm gonna just air lace. 100% accuracy. What's golem drop? Nothing. <laughs> Yo, this sucks. <laughs> These drop rates suck. Alright, I've been grinding these guys for way longer than I'd like to admit. My blaze is level 48 now, and I struggle to get up to 15, right? And also, I found a metal coat while doing it, so I can get a Steelix. Super cool, right? Look at him, taunting me. And then I see this cave. I see this cave full of cobble, and I'm like, huh, that's weird. So I look down. I'm like, okay, you know, whatever, some random cobble, some mossy cobble, what's going on? String. There is string down there. What is this? There is a lot of iron and gold down here. Ooh. This is a lot of string and a geode. A lot of iron. Oh, so much iron and gold. If we're at gold level, we could even find diamonds down here. There's so much iron and like gold and stuff. I have to mark this, at least on the map. What is that? What is, wait, what is that? Whoa. Is that diamonds? Wait. There's diamonds down there. Okay, we have to go down here now. What is this? Oh, sulfur! I thought this was only, like, in the nether. Just like that. I'm good now. Let's make a waypoint. We're gonna name this Epic Cave. We're gonna go further down. I need more water, though, because I kind of... Low-key, I ditched my water, so... Alright, I've gotta get my first diamonds down here. I can't resist. Also, sulfur, that means gunpowder, and this is full of XP, too. I will happily take all the XP this is going to give me. Dude, there's sulfur, there's diamonds. There are, oddly enough, no Pokemon down here. At least not yet. There's more diamonds in the ceiling. I have to get those. I can't leave diamonds. That's different. I was going to say, I can't sit here and strip everything, but if I get Fortune 3, I can come back. And oh, I can come back and get tons of loot. Also, this is why you never stand on the block you're mining. Okay, wait, what is that? Diamonds? Also, what is that? I didn't expect to come down here and just get all these diamonds. I am kind of concerned of the lack of Pokemon, though. All right, being the mana culture I am, I could walk all the way around. But instead... I'm going to travel in style. By making my own path... It's like a metaphor in life. You gotta make your own path. Whether it be Obsidian or whether it be subscribing to your favorite Minecraft YouTube channel. Which maybe you should do. If you subscribe, I will get those diamonds that are all the way up there in the ceiling. There are diamonds way up there. There are diamonds... Over there. There are diamonds... I saw more somewhere. Up there. There's still the ones back there I haven't gotten. Oh, man. What is th that? What is that? I may have just stumbled upon something huge. And my pickaxe is about to die. Any second now. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, we're gonna... Oh, don't tell me I didn't bring any wood down here. I can't even make a bed. I've got no bed. Um, hmm. Maybe. Maybe I should just come back. I'm going to be honest. This is the first time I've ever actually found an ancient city. If I dig into this, am I going to find the ancient city? Why is there skulk up here? Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna make my way up this. It's pretty high up. There's also diamonds up there. I don't know if I even want to go get the diamonds. I hear skeletons. Oh, they've got swords? No, 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 no. No, thank you. Okay. I don't have any armor. Um, no. Overall, I was down here for the rest of this hour. I was down here for a while. There was just so many things going on inside of this cave system. There was the ancient city, 
somewhere, probably down below, which honestly, I was not ready for yet. There was that massive dungeon full of skeletons with swords that I was also not ready for because I'm almost entirely naked. And there were just loot everywhere. There was iron, there was gold, diamond, sulfur, literally anywhere and everywhere that I could or couldn't get to. But finally, I forced myself to leave so I could go craft that compass and find a village. It was kind of strange how there were no, like, Pokemon down there. I, I don't know if it was intentional like that or... Oh! Anyways, let's go make the compass. And honestly, just check out all the loot that we got. If I go into here, we now have 26 diamonds. Even more, we have 48 raw gold. I got another 57 raw iron, which is crazy. And we got some raw potassium and we got 61 sulfur. Well, actually two stacks of sulfur. And almost two stacks of potassium. So we can make a ton of gunpowder with that. But first, we're going to make the compass. So I need to make a furnace. And I need to smelt four cobblestone into stone bricks. All right, we got our stone. We're going to take the stone, craft them into stone bricks, and then we're going to take those, throw them back in the furnace. And while that is cooking, we need four iron and one redstone. We can make a compass. So we got our compass. We've got our four cobwebs. And we, we have a lot of like stuff, actually. And now we can make our explorer's compass and look at this bad boy you ready boom we're gonna look for a plains biome village or actually yeah plains biome village closest one is 200 blocks away we're gonna make ultra balls how many ultra balls can i make let's go we have 44 44 ultra balls all right this is telling us to go this way it's right over here it's 200 blocks is not that far away oh you're kidding me there is a pillager outpost right next to this. Also, look at this village. It is pretty. Okay, it's raining now, but this village is beautiful. Look at this. Dude, this place is so pretty. More importantly, do you have any stuff I could um borrow? Oh, the... What is going on up here? Hey guys, I really like your town. I am so happy that you made me the new mayor. I need to take all of this food. This food is now my food. These Pokemon look weird. Why is that pig shoved in the wall? Yo, they have blocks of coal. That is so much coal. Dude, this place is nutty. What? Honestly, your furnaces are my furnaces now. Oh, I was immediately punished for my greed. As the sun went down, I continued exploring around the village and borrowing everything I possibly could get my grubby mitts on. I got lots of wheat, I got coal, I got iron, I got free gold and item frames. They even had this massive farm area with cows, pigs, and pretty much every crop in the game. This village was absolutely stacked. But honestly, I wasn't quite sure if this was a place that I wanted to call home. Because I kind of wanted to build my own house. And this area had some not-so-safe neighbors. Alright, the sun is up. It's another beautiful sunny day. And I've been in this village for a quite some time now. And look what I found. There is a lectern here. They have... Dude, it's like they know that I want... This place has everything that I could possibly need. I shouldn't have to, like, parkour to get through a village. That's kind of why I don't really want to use this village for trading. But I'm mainly just looking for a waystone. They find a, if I find a waystone here, I am set. Alright, I'm using the water to get up faster because I don't want to take a year to keep climbing this mountain. There are just more- wait. Yo, there's just more buildings up here. We found the waystone. We found the waystone. Oh, up here could be the perfect place to build a house, actually. Oh, look, non, non Pokemon rabbits. Crazy. This is where I want to live. This is where we're going to live. 
Dude, this place is sick. I love this. This village is gorgeous. Little bit of a tree issue here and there, but you know, that's okay. All right, Blaziken, let's take out this guy. Blaze kick him. Knock him down a few pegs. Oh, spider eyes. Nice. Oh, <gasps> that's a shiny Tauros. Dude, that's two shinies. Okay, okay, I can't attack him. You know what? We're gonna Ultra Ball it. Shiny Tauros! Shiny Tauros! Come on, catch. 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 I don't want to attack it with anything. I think all my Pokemon are too strong. Come on. Come on, stay in there. You're making me waste all my expensive gold balls. Come on, Shiny Tauros. He's not going to catch, is he? What Pokemon can I even swap out for that? Come on, man. Okay, um... I can't use a super effective move on... Okay, knockoff did, like, nothing. Cool. Okay, just in case this crits, that's the last one. Okay, that's that's as far as I'm willing to take it, because I don't want to crit. Come on. Come on, shiny. Shiny Tauros. I was worried I wasn't going to find any shinies this entire, like... Wow, he really does not want to catch. Come on. Come on. Let's go! Shiny number two! All right, let's go find a place to sleep. And then tomorrow, we're going to figure out what I'm actually going to do with... Uh, am I going to build a house or am I just going to steal a house? All right, so for now, I think I've made my decision. I think I'm going to claim this is my house. To be honest, we'll claim this is like our temporary house and just put storage in it and then we'll keep moving on. Ooh, there's an apricot farm or a tree over there. Yeah, we can make an apricot, an apricot. Why can I say apricorn? I always screwed up. We can make an apricorn farm. So now that I had chosen my temporary home to store all of my lucrative piles of loot, I began cleaning the place up. And let me tell you, this was quite the process, because after breaking everything inside of the house, I had so much random crap all over the floor that I basically just had to dump outside. And after cleaning up all that random junk, I began building different areas in the house to fit my needs, like an area for smelting, and an area for storage, and a bed. There wasn't really a ton of space in here, but I made do with what I had, so that way I could be back on my way, looting and finding the next village, to collect that sweet, sweet waystone. Also, while I was in the middle of doing this, I noticed this huge Snorlax just chilling outside of my house. And I know I already had a Munchlax, but honestly, I wanted to catch this guy. I just finished sorting my house. And I see this guy walking over here. What do I even use? Aqua Tail? Don't kill. Oh! All right, catch. I think this guy's shiny. I don't even know what the shiny odds are, but I have found three shinies. Which is kind of crazy. Then again, I've also seen a lot of Pokemon. Let's go! Okay, I need to put the PC down so I can actually see if that guy was shiny or not. But yeah, I have officially... Oh, he definitely was. Look at that Primeape. Dude, what? What is this? What are these odds? Let's go! Alright, I'm going to make some fence gates because I am tired of seeing all these Pokemon walk into my house. Anyone that's in here after the fence gates gets murdered. Sorry, Baneary. You know the rules. Get aqua tailed. Viciously destroyed. Oh, drop me a carrot. So now, let's find another village. What is a fortified village? 1,000 blocks away. Fortified village. Let's go find a fortified village. That sounds amazing. All right, so now that we have all of our stuff organized and we have actual space in our inventory, I am bringing some gold and iron and it'll bring some black apricorns. And if we find more yellow, I can make more ultra balls along the way. What, why are there two waystones? What? Is that a glitch? Is there a second waystone around here? I don't think there's two. I think that was a glitch. Or just like a weird thing with that that mod i don't know i'm curious how many pokemon are actually in the game i know it's not all of them i'm just hoping that there's a couple of key pokemon that i will find 
I want to find a Chandelure, so I need to find a Litwick. And I really want a Salmence. You know, so far, one of the most common Pokemon I have found are these stupid Pinecos. I want to watch them burn. You look off. You're not shiny, are you? I found I found a, a Phyloswine. Oh, is that a Weird Ear? Yo, is that a Weird Ear? Wait. We're catching this boy. Ow. Oh, we got to catch you. Okay. What can I throw at you? You're level 50? Um, most of these attacks might kill you. Aerial Ace. If you die by Aerial Ace... Ooh. Blaze Kick? Wow, he's really strong. Alright, it's time. We're catching ourselves a Weird Ear. Oh, there's another one. And, an and another one. Come on, Weird Ear. Weird Ear. Get in that... Oh. Get in that ball, boy. Come on. Nice. Oh. Oh. Mammoth Swine. Mammoth Swine. I don't even have to... Level 48. Dude, he's huge. Oh, we're catching him. We're catching him. Aerial Ace is not going to do that much. Very safe attack. He might just kill me, though. Ooh, okay. He's weak. We're going in for the Ultra Ball. Come on, Mammo Swine. Let's go. Come on, Mammo Swine. That's really good ice coverage. Ice and ground. Yeah. In the Pokeball. It's kind of funny how I could eat while I'm trying to catch a Pokemon. There's a Weird Ear. Catch so I can kill the Weird Ear. Let's go. We got a Mammoth Swine. I'm killing this Weird Ear now. So after being scammed by the Weird Ear and catching myself a gorgeous Mammoth Swine, I continued off towards the direction of the fortified village. Along the way, I didn't really find that many Pokemon that were super interesting, but boy, did I get tons of apricorns. These trees were everywhere. Also along the way, while borrowing all of those apricorns, I stumbled upon an abandoned nether portal where I scored myself a free gold block and a bunch of random golden stuff inside the chest. Oh. Overall, this trip wasn't anything too special, but it was definitely looking to be lucrative. I think I just found it. Oh, I think I found it. Yo, it's like a castle. All right, let's check some of these, out these outside buildings first. Just to kind of see what stuff they have for us to, um... <clears throat> borrow red beds i love red beds tired of using white beds they're ugly i don't think that's actually like a hidden thing i think it's just i think i just ruined their carpet dude this place is gorgeous wow look at this greenhouse and there's like beehives in there that have actual like honey and stuff dude this is gorgeous yo this place Kind of, it's like a diner too. This is really cool. And I just stole all of their bread and steak. I love to see it. Yo, what do you have uh, up here? A fake bed. This man's laying on wood. It's literally a thin, this is like a hotel bed, dude. What? Let's try to find our way in here. There should be an entrance without me breaking down the door. This is sick. Oh. And it's like doubled up too. It's like extra sick. Hey, yo, you guys got lots of wheat for me. I already took all of your other stuff, but this is mine too. These guys are about to go through a famine. This place is so sick. A diamond? Some obsidian? Almost enough to make a nether portal? More emeralds? And enough for one iron. Okay. I see you, villagers. I see you. I'm robbing you, but I see you. Don't worry, uh, Uria Vale. I will bring back all your stuff. Tomorrow. I'm not bringing it back tomorrow. No, look, it's your birthday. Dusty Golab. This guy's name is Dusty Golab. I just ate that entire cake. Do you guys not have a waystone? Did I come here for no reason? I mean, I'll take your loot, sure, but kind of came here for a waystone. Not even any cool Pokemon out here. I don't know, guys. You're looking like I'm going to have to commit arson here. So anyways, I got out my trusty compass and I looked for another village and I set back out trying to find another place to get that waystone so I could begin teleporting back and forth to my home. Yo, a wild Machamp! Oh, we catching him. I also see the waystone in the village in the background. Yo, we're catching this Machamp. We're gonna hit him with a blaze kick? Ooh, that does too much damage. 
We're going to switch to... Machoke, hoping he doesn't get murdered. Oh, he's going to get murdered. With dual chop? Yeah, Machoke's too slow. Um... Gyarados? Gyarados is going to use Aqua Tail. 9%. Perfect. It is time. You will become one, Machamp. Uga Chaka. Uga Chaka. Come on. 9%, dude. Yeah, okay. What's up, Golem? I'm about to level up, and you're looking like just enough XP. Come on, man. Get in the ball. You're gonna take my entire team with you! Nice! We got a Golem! Not not the most useful Pokemon, but it is a Pokemon. Alright, let's go get this. This is mine now. Actually, big gamer idea here. We're gonna teleport back to Paintopia. Alright, let's dump all of our loot that we've obtained. Honestly, pretty good haul. Alright, we dumped all of our stuff, and I will heal my Pokemon since... That golem and Machamp kind of obliterated half of my team. And now, we can use our Waystone to just teleport back there. I would like to get definitely more than one Waystone, though. So, we are going to take this one. So, here it was, the end of hour seven. And honestly, I was really rolling on progression. I had so many resources at my disposal. I could officially find and tackle the Stronghold. And that was exactly what I was going to do. All right, now that I have stolen their Waystone, I, I mean, sorry, borrowed their Waystone indefinitely, it's mine now, fight me. I, this is this is actually kind of crazy. So I went to look up the Stronghold with this thing. It is 400 blocks away. I'm kind of curious about the Stronghold. So I'm using Young's Stronghold, Young's Better Stronghold, which is absolute god tier mod, by the way. Highly recommend it. But it spawns monsters. And I'm curious if those monsters, similar to that dungeon that I found, are actually going to spawn. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do about Ender Pearls. I know they drop from some Pokemon. I'm not sure what Pokemon they drop from. I'm hoping that a lot of times strongholds have, you know, they have like Ender Pearls inside of them. Like in the chests, not in the actual portal. And I'm hoping we can find some of those. Maybe we'll find, you know, a couple. But for now, I just want to get my waystone and place it there, which I guess I should probably find another village first. This is so much more superior than actually f using like Eyes of Ender. Maybe in regular Minecraft, they should make like a compass, kind of like the ancient city compass that just leads you to the stronghold. Also, I guess if we're going to the end, that means I do have to fight the dragon. So I'm probably going to have to prep to fight the dragon. So if I dig down like right here, this should lead me almost directly into the stronghold. Maybe I should make some better armor as well because I've only got gold armor for some of my armor, which is not enough. Is I hit moss? Oh, don't like that. Oh, it's a mossy cave. Oh, that sucks. After collecting my apricorns and finding the exact spot to dig, I began digging straight down in increments of two so I wouldn't fall to my death. And the further down I went, I started to kind of doubt if this thing was even here because I had already gone below Y0. And all I had found at that point was mossy cave. But then... As soon as that doubt had crossed my mind, I broke through yet another bit of moss, and there it was. Oh! I am directly over top. Oh boy! Okay. Alright, so I don't know if there are actually any hostile mobs that are going to be spawning. The regular version of this, like this dungeon, does have these like spawners that spawn like zombies with like things on their heads. And, oh, there's also spider spawners. And when I was doing that in my spider mod world... Whoa! Almost killed myself. Oh my god, I can't build... Come on. If there were actual mobs attacking me right now, I would just be dead. Okay, I need real armor if we're going to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this iron and we're going to make ourselves a helmet. 
and we're gonna make ourselves pants just so we have the most basic forms of armor i could have made diamond but that's okay whoa look at all this wait a second look at all this dank loot all right just in case are there beds in here all right this is mine Iron sword. I'm gonna keep the sword on me just in case there are in fact any mobs. Wow, I, I could have just waited a second and then all this stuff was just down here. I didn't have to make any armor. Oh, okay, first ender pearl. Let's go. Oh, I hear mobs. I heard a skeleton walk. Dude, I just hear the skeletons walking. So I know inside of this place there is a really lucrative loot room full of dank loot. Like, I'm talking diamonds, all kinds of stuff. I know it's not hardcore mode, but I'm so used to playing in hardcore in situations like this that I just feel like I have to be extra careful. Oh. I don't want to know how much that sword does. Wow, you have a lot of health. This is my opportunity to get bones. If there is a spawner in here... Yep, there's a spawner in here. I could use this as a bone farm. Yes! And an XP farm! In Cobblemon! Let's go! Alright, this is go this is where I'm going to place this waystone. I'm going to name it Stronghold Skeleton Farm. Let's go, dude. I can actually just break this hole right here. And the spawner is right there. Let's go. And if I give him more spawning space, I can just sit here and just smack away. I can even turn this into like an automated farm. Hear me out here. If I put a slab right here. Then I can do this. They can't hit me and I can crawl in there and get their loot. And now I have a bone farm because I, I didn't know how I was going to get bones otherwise. Oh, I hear the mobs. I don't know about that. Ooh, okay, second Eye of Ender. Perfect. Nice. Okay, we got golden iron. We got more iron and bread. Bread and coal. Perfect. The Zubat just died. Cool. Like to see it. Love to see it. I love dead Zubats on the floor. Oh, they're totally over here. There's tons of iron. There's definitely stuff that wants to kill me. There's no way all these chests just exist over here. Just full of all this stuff. There's so much stuff. Look at all this, like, iron and gold. It's just, like, stacks upon stacks. I need this for Pokeballs. Oh, I found the Ender Portal. Break it, break it, break it, break it. Okay, we got one Eye of Ender, so that means we have a total of three Eyes of Ender. Yikes, that's uh rough. We're gonna make a waypoint right here. We're gonna call it we're gonna make it purple end portal. I should have also made one where I placed the waystone. That's my bad. <gasps> oh, found it. <laughs> found him. There's only one though. Where are they coming from? They're like Ah, they're in here. What's up, guys? Ah, oh, God! Oh, my God! <laughs> that was a literal jump scare! Oh, man, that gave me a miniature heart attack. Oh, dude, wow, that scared me. Oh, I don't like that. It's not very Pokemon now. <laughs> There's no Pokemon in here. Just death. So now that I had found the stronghold and I had locked up that horde of zombies and the skeleton spawner, I continued exploring around with pretty bad luck of finding any rooms of interest. I was looking for two rooms in particular. These strongholds typically have a nether portal room underground that has a ton of diamonds and other stuff in it. And there is another much bigger hallway that has a library in it that typically has a block of iron and sometimes diamond even i honestly don't know anyways i spent quite a bit of time just exploring around down here until finally i had stumbled upon this yo what 
This is a literal perfect chess piece. Protection four, mending, unbreaking three. Oh, this stronghold is broken. And I'm taking all the coal. Honestly, there may not be a loot room, which there might be. Maybe I just didn't find it, but I don't care. I came out of here a king. Either way. Okay, when I said king, I... I was kidding, guys. I was kidding. Yeah, I... Oh, oh boy. How many swordfish blocks are in here? There's a spawner around the corner. And there's water on it, so I can't get to it fast. Get out of the way. 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 Every time I hit them, more and more silverfish come out. Look at the pile of silverfish! Oh, you suck. This is actually very problematic. They legit, every time I smack a silverfish, more silverfish come out. Look at all the silverfish. What do I actually do here? How wide is the range? How far is the range for silverfish? I still hear the blocks breaking. How many blocks are... E is every single block in this building built out of silverfish monster spawners? Alright, I'm cutting my losses here. We're leaving. We're leaving this area. So honestly, I think we're pretty good here. I'm gonna probably go back to the base and count all my loot and then, uh... I think the next goal is going to be to hunt down some more villages. But yeah, I think we're going to go back to the portal. Or we're going to go back to the waystone and go back home to count all of our copious piles of loot. Every time I try to say that, I find more... I find other rooms that have loot in them that I've not taken. The stronghold has been officially conquered. And I came out of here with crazy diamond armor. I will take that any day of the week. So it was now hour nine into our adventure... And I had realized something while well, looking back on some of the old footage because I was showing a couple of friends. At one point while exploring, I walked past a literal waystone just chilling in the tree. It was directly in front of me. I have no clue how I missed it, but now I was going back to get it. And because this journey is going to be boring and repetitive, I'm going to put up subway surfers on the side of the screen for you guys. Everyone loves subway surfers, right? Man, this subway surfers footage is so enticing. Look at that. He sure is subway surfing. Wow. I just took two hearts of damage, but you wouldn't have seen that. Because subway surfers is on the side of the screen. This is close. This feels like it. Also, I've been thinking, you know, how am I going to get rich in this world? How am I going to exploit others for my... I mean, how am I going to borrow money from villagers? <clears throat> Well, chopping trees. I know, very original, I know. So I will be getting a bunch of Fletchers, and we're going to do stick trades. And you may be thinking, well, stick trades are not that profitable, you know? It costs 32 sticks per emerald. Well, in this world, I can chop down trees with a single swing of my axe. Just a whoop. Look at that. Look at how much wood we got here. That gave us 13 wood. Almost a quarter of a stack. So, I did the math on it, and one stack of wood will net us 16 emeralds. Meaning it's going to take four stacks of wood per stack of emeralds. And we just so happen to have also crossed over a huge spruce forest. I could just go over there and do the, the average human thing that we do and kill all wildlife, take all of the trees, and we can profit. And then I can also trade and get like fortune three and other crazy good stuff. Hey, I found it, I found it. Let's go. I would have never found this if I didn't show my footage to people. <laughs> I was just like looking over the footage. I kid you not. And I stopped and I was like, no, you're lying. And the, the people in the VC are like, what? I'm like, dude, I just walked past a waystone. That's crazy. All right, so now that I have my waystone, I was actually looking for that village I had went to in the past that had like dark spruce trees because I wanted to mass harvest lots of those. However, 
I'm almost to the coordinates, kind of. Well, I guess I'm 500 blocks away. But this whole forest is nearby, and look at this. It's just full of these things. So we got 13 spruce logs, along with a lot of extra apricorns that we got. I mine one of these. How much do we get? Let's put these away. How much wood does one of these trees give me? We can equate that to emeralds. So one tree gave me a stack in four. So each tree is worth 16 emeralds. And my axe is dead. I want to find a good shiny. I want to get a shiny that's actually like a Pokemon that I want to use. I'm thinking the shiny Pokemon that I want the most that is in the pack, which by the way, unfortunately, my boy Salmence is not in yet. No Salmussy. Very sad there's no Salmence yet, but I could get Lucario. Shiny Lucario slaps. Gorgeous Pokemon, and he's really powerful. I know Blaziken's part fighting, so I'd have like extra fighting coverage, but honestly, I kind of don't care. I'm not really trying to battle like any, there's no Elite Four or anything, which would be really cool, by the way, if there was. That's a future idea. That's a really cool future idea. Elite Four in Koppelmon. After finishing my little rant about how great Koppelmon and Pokemon is in general, I went to sleep for the night and I continued farming my way through the trees while making my way towards that village. All the way until my inventory and my backpack were stuffed full of logs. Um, okay, so let's just say I may have gotten turned around on the way here. And this is actually not the village. Ooh, is that a waystone? Okay, this works out though. This is not the village I was trying to get to. I ended up taking a wrong turn and may have spent majority of this hour just running. But hear me out here. One, we found a new waystone. And two, I may have found just a couple of apricorns. No. Look at this. 19 yellow. 25 black. We can make a lot of Ultra Balls with that. That also rhymed. Okay, I will be taking this. Sorry, guys. Also, not sorry. Don't care. Ironically, this would be a good place to build. It's very... Very nice. Very peaceful. Very flat. Huh. There's a second Waystone. There's a second Waystone! Let's go! Nice, dude. Now we have three more waystones. Is that another one? Okay, now we have four waystones. Let's go. This place is very nice and scenic. Right here specifically would be a great spot for a house, actually. You know what? Let's put a waystone down. Let's name it New Home Question Mark. There is another village. Also, it's a spruce village. Love spruce villages. Oh, there's also a big cave that we could explore too nearby. How far down does this go? <laughs> yeah, that's uh pretty far. All right, cool. So we got a new place that we can call a potential home. And we have four waystones still. I did want to go find that village, but I mean, it is getting dark and I kind of... Is that... Are you, are you a Pidgeot? Oh, it's a Pidgeot. You know what? Let's catch it. Why not? Um, Aqua Tail, don't kill. Perfect. I wish I could use you to fly, but unfortunately, I have to go to the end to get an Elytra. Pidgeot. Hey, what is that? Oh, it's a sheep. Get in the ball. And we got a Thunderstone. Nice. Hey, man, I know I'm starting to become, like, richer on resources, but... If you could not eat through my Ultra Balls, that'd be cool. He's slowly killing my Gyarados, too. Come on, man. Come on. Nice. All right, so I've been chilling here for just a little bit. And honestly, I'm debating. Should I make the last place my home? Or should I make this place my home? I'm kind of feeling this spot right here. This spot could be a crazy good spot for a nice home. So I think this is going to be my actual home. Let's teleport back to new home. And get kind of like a feel for it. Yeah, so over here is good and all. But I feel like over there is a little more cozy, maybe? I am so, so bad at choosing spots for homes. 
This is why I always take so long to build spots for homes. I mention it in like every video at this point, because I'm just like, yeah, I'll be exploring for like 20, 30 days in game time. And it's like, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll live here. That's fine. I like the biomes nearby better. So this is it. This is where we're going to build our home. Right where this waystone is. I have to do this for all the people on the internet. You must die. I'm sorry, Lopini. You must die. For all... Uh... Hello? It missed? Hello? The Lopini is, is wiping me? My Kyrgyz is paralyzed and confused? I find it's turn six. I got an attack off on turn six. Dude, it's going to kill my Garrett. It killed my Gyarados. All right, Blaziken. We're, we're doing it. You know what? Actually, no, no. Even better, because I know everyone right now is screaming at the screen how much they want me to catch this Lopini. I'm going to do it. We're going to catch the Lopini. He's going to be the first new Pokemon caught in our new home. All right, where did my very intelligent, not small-brained villagers go? They're definitely not trapped here. They're willingly living in this small quarters that they enjoy. You are a weaponsmith? Meaning, I gotta get rid of, uh, what is it, grindstone? Where's that grindstone that you are attached to? What are you? Cartographer. I spent the next couple of minutes looking around the village for different job blocks for me to break. So that way, none of my villagers were going to struggle to be something I didn't want them to be. Because I was here for capitalism. Today, we were going to make the big bucks. After finally removing all of the job blocks, I went back and began trading with my Fletchers. Alright, good. Sticks. I don't have the inventory space for sticks. This is going to be the hardest part, is just dealing with the inventory space. Alright, stick guy. Where did stick guy go? People, do not make me trap you. I will literally just do it. This is not going as well as I actually had thought it was going to go. I kind of forgot how much harder it is to deal with sticks when you have so many. You guys just don't don't think of this uh, this wall as a prison. Think of it as like a... Uh, like an opportunity it's no don't jump on top oh my god i hate you guys ah suckers let's see you get out now okay so besides the insane amount of xp these guys have given me they are just not refreshing their trades i'm thinking maybe let's say i need more arrows so what if i just buy like a stack of arrows right level this guy up wow that is really good xp level this guy up And now his trades for sticks are back. Okay. Trade those again. He just hasn't refreshed them. I do have two stacks of arrows now for like a nice bow, but I need emeralds. I'm not trying to trade for XP. I need emeralds. So this is not working. All right. Honestly, after spending enough time here, I'm kind of done dealing with these villagers for now. I don't know why they're like they actually seem like they're broken i feel like the mod is broken because they're just not updating their trades whatsoever oh an oddish i haven't seen an oddish huh he's sleeping speaking of sleeping we're gonna go to sleep one more time i know i'm coping right now one more time to see if these guys want to update their trades because i've got so many logs in my inventory Please just update your trades. Oh, not you. You're useless. Useless. Oh. Wait. And it's raining. Nice. Okay. Did my man just give me one singular stick trade? Oh, dude. I cannot. Let's head back home to Paintopia. And we've only got 60 emeralds. Yeah, just 60 emeralds. I've still got so many sticks on me. I would have loved to actually trade the sticks with some people. <laughs> What's up, armor guy? You like my 
my blast furnaces? How would you instead... Hear me out here. What if I imprisoned you? No, no, no. What if I imprisoned you? And I took away these and you became a lectern guy instead. Alright, we pick up our blast furnaces. We legally hold this guy here because he likes to be here. No, not the barrels, dude. No, 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 no. The lectern, the lectern. Oh, he likes the barrels. See, this is this is why I keep saying villagers deserve less. And so it began my descent into insanity. Now that I was trying to get the enchantments I wanted, it was going to require way more villager rerolls than honestly I wanted to do. But you know what? I wanted to get good armor and tools. In order to get those enchantments, that means I had to abuse the villagers. So I sat here doing this for quite some time until finally I had gotten something cool. Oh, Silk Touch. Wait. Okay, Silk Touch. Do I want to do Silk Touch? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. Uh, I need a book and 16 emeralds. Okay, so got the emeralds. I need a book. I have tons of books. Okay. I hate you, but I'm buying a Silk Touch book from you. Perfect. Now that I have Silk Touch, let's put it on an axe. I need an anvil. It kind of doesn't matter which one I actually put it on. I've got way too much stuff in my inventory. Okay, so anvil. I'm going to put it on this regular iron axe for now because I can get more of them. So it doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. Anvil's dead. Cool. So first thing I want to do with Silk Touch is I want to test something out. I had an idea. What if you could make apricorn trees more efficient, right? What if I could break the apricorn, like, seed things, whatever you want to call them, and place more of them onto an apricorn tree? Okay, the answer is no. No, you cannot. It was honestly worth a shot. Okay, so now that we have Silk Touch, I'm going to really quick dump my... Shiny Mankey! There's a Shiny Mankey! Look at this guy! I'm about to just throw an Ultra Ball, I guess. I don't I don't know what to do. Come on, Mankey. There's a Bellossom over there. Come on, Shiny Mankey. I now have the living decks for Mankey. I have Shiny Mankey and Shiny Primeape. Let's go! We got another Shiny. All right, so I got all of these chests fixed and organized and all the stuff out of my inventory, and boy... Dude, we have a lot of some of these apricorns, actually. Like, we have so many pink ones. Let's look at, like, what kind of pokeballs we can make. Because we're definitely low. So I'd like to make quick balls next. Quick balls are really nice. Also, moon balls. Gorgeous. One of my favorite looking ball. And if we could find a Pokemon, like, if we can find an Eevee, I can get an Umbreon and a moon ball. I think my main thing would be I would love to get, like, a shiny Umbreon in a moon ball. That would be so cool. Honestly, let's just grab like pretty much all we've got for apricorns. And we'll kind of make stuff using those. Okay, so we can make quick balls, right? So let's make some quick balls. Let's make like 16 quick balls. Yeah, because these also cost some of those. Let's make like. 20 moon balls. Let's make 12 timer balls, and then we're going to make the rest ultra balls, since I don't know how many... Yeah, we, we don't have a lot more for ultra balls. That's kind of unfortunate. What kind of, like, pink balls can we use? Love balls. Opposite gender. Or just a rosette ball, which is just a different colored pokeball we could use. Honestly, I mean, heal balls use pink. Dream balls. I think I'd rather say dream balls cost diamonds? Now we're pretty much good to go back to the stronghold. We have silk touch on this bad boy. And we're going to use that to collect as many books as we can get. We're going to get some bookshelves. And then we can use these to make ourselves an enchanting area. Since we get tons of XP from villagers. We're making 
Super crazy progress. And then we can go to the end. Wow, I never realized this, but this is the Stronghold's Waystone with the skeleton farm right here. And if I look straight down, that is literally the end portal. That's perfect. Okay, we're going to go back home. I'm going to build the enchantment area here for now. And we'll eventually move it when we actually start building our new house. If I decide I do want to live over there. Oh, a Torchic! Torchic! There's a Torchic! Uh... Wait, Torch... That, out of all the starters I could find in the wild, I find my starter? Um... Okay, so... Big idea here. What if Gengar knows Hypnosis? He does not currently, but I could actually just teach him it. What if I... Alright, what if I... Can I teach him it or no? Let's get rid of Hex. Hypnosis. Perfect. Oh yeah, it doesn't count because I'm still in battle. Okay, you know... I guess we're just going to throw... An Ultra Ball at the guy. So all my Pokemon are too high level to attack him. Yeah, Gengar can be my catching buddy. I can use him to catch Pokemon. Also, we could take this Torchic and we can, like, EV train him. This could be our EV train Torchic. He could be an absolute beast of a Blaziken. I, he's going to waste all of my Ultra Balls. He's level 30, dude. I thought about this happening as I put higher level Pokemon in my team. Maybe I can run away. If he breaks out, what if I try running away? I'm going to have to run away. Okay, we're going to do run. And we're just going to go all the way over here until the battle ends. Okay. Hopefully he's still here. No! Wait, what? He just... He just died. What did he die from? He just stuck his face in the block and died. That was the only Torchic, let alone starter, I have found in the wild. And he took five of my Ultra Balls. And then committed Senpuku. Great. Great. Wonderful. Okay, Gengar. This is actually really good, though. Gengar will be our catcher. He's going to put Pokemon to sleep. So, this kind of works out anyways. I mean, I really wanted the Torchic, you know, but whatever, I guess. Let's heal. And let's build our enchantment area. I want it to be in the base, but I don't, I don't have room in the base. So, we're going to put it here for now. It's going to be a classic outside enchanting area. So, it's going to be like right here. This will be the center block. So, we'll do it like that. Center block. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect. And then boom, 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 boom. It's actually all you pretty much need. And now I have obsidian. We have diamonds and we have books. We're pretty much good to make an enchantment table. Do I have lapis? How much lapis did I bring back? I think I had lapis blocks, didn't I? Oh yeah, we got plenty of lapis. Uh, Let's enchant our helmet, I guess. Why not? I'm breaking three. And protection four. What is this? I. Oh, is it fire protection four? Reduces the effects of fire damage. That's pretty lame. We're going to go back to the other village. And we're going to see. Oh, don't want to step in my trash. We're going to see if we can actually find. First off, we're going to see if we can get enough sticks to trade with. And then we're going to see if we can get someone to be a toolsmith. What's up, guys? I'm back. Any cool Pokemon over here? No shinies? Anyone trying to be a shiny? Any shinies, huh? Okay, so this is the other village, the first one that I was thinking about living here, and I'm trying to see if they have, like, a toolsmith. I thought they did. I remember seeing one. All right, I don't see any, like, grindstones over here, so unfortunately... And I took the other ones, and I think I dropped them back off my base 
Meaning that I... Yeah. Home sweet home. All right, you guys want to trade? Wow, look at all this. Are, are you serious? Not... If none of you trade, I'm going to fill this pit with lava. I will save the armor guy, but I will torch the rest of you. I will let heaven rain down upon you. Do you want that? All right, I have made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment by coming here, apparently, because the villagers don't want to refresh their trades. So I wasted 2 XP getting here, and now I'm wasting 2 XP going home, and I guess we're just going to have to make a toolsmith here. Which means I'm going to have to start breaking job blocks. I think a lot of the villagers here actually just have jobs. Luckily, I... Well, almost stepped in that. Luckily, I do have a grindstone that I um, legitimately acquired, did not steal. I'd never do that in games or in real life. Stop signs are free. Oh, look, you guys are already in a cage. Wow, that this is great. Perfect. Okay. I'm breaking two iron sword. Cool. Here, take my emeralds. Waste them. Burn them. Light them on fire. Please. Okay, good. He did refresh his trades. I think that's what that mod that I installed does. It makes them... Yo! Silk Touch Unbreaking 3? That is exactly the kind of axe that I need in my life. That's perfect. I just wasted a lot of my resources now, though. Wait, this is a weaponsmith. Wait. Oh, I meant to make a toolsmith. Wait, how do you make a toolsmith? Wait, 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 wait. I always do this. I literally always do this. All right, I have corrected my ways and I have made a smithing table. Because I always... Oh, hey, a far-fetched. Hey. What's up, little dude? Getting all kinds of Pokemon I haven't seen now that I've been in the world longer. It's kind of cool. But yeah, I always do this. I always make this mistake. And I accidentally make a weaponsmith first. So, toolsmith. Good. The optimal trade of one emerald. I don't have to waste coal. Perfect. A lot of times, these guys have, like, a ridiculous trade. So you can't actually just do that. It's very unfortunate. That's a shiny. There's a shiny. Wait, 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 wait. There's a shiny Lopany. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There's a shiny Lopany. What? What? Why is this my good luck shiny chunk? Is that a thing? Do, are there chunks that make shiny spawn? This is like the third shiny Pokemon that has spawned over here. So let's put him to sleep. Okay, Baneri's asleep now. I, I guess. Yeah. Okay, cool. And we're going to throw a moon ball at Baneri. It doesn't match, but it is a cool ball. It'd be a cool ball to catch a shiny Baneri in. Okay, you could be a jerk. Cool. In the ball. Nice! We got another shiny! I am keeping my eyes peeled for more shinies. I really want to get a good shiny. Like, one that I'm actually going to use. Lopini's funny. It's a meme Pokemon because people are weird on the internet. But, like, I don't really want a shiny Lopini. I want a shiny like Lucario or, like... I mean, a lot of the cool shinies I really enjoy are actually not in the game yet, so yeah. All right, man, I guess this is what the toolsmith does in his free time when I'm not watching them. <laughs> okay, you, good job, man. Enjoy, enjoy. Uh, sorry to interrupt. I would like to do some capitalism. Efficiency two diamond shovel is pretty good. I'll take that. Sure. I'm breaking three efficiency three. That's actually a really good pickaxe too. Oh, man, I need more emeralds, though. Because I'm poor because the stick boys don't want to work. It's the stick boys' fault. It's their fault that I'm poor. Okay, so honestly, I've kind of got a little bit of a baby solution to this. If the stick guys are not going to work over there, what if I can just make more of them over here? What if they just work over here now? Okay, so I found a villager. He's kind of brain dead. I mean... He's just chilling here, staring at the fire. I guess you want a job, dude? Yeah, sucker. Trade me some sticks. This is the only way I have to get emeralds. I just won fortune three. I just won fortune three. 
I just want Fortune 3. It's all I want. Come on. Come on, man. Maybe looting. Looting would be cool. Be cool to get a good sword for the dragon and a bow. I'll just... I'll, I'll make the bow myself. You know, you just... I just need the emeralds for the stupid pickaxe. That's all I need. This is so dumb. If I have to waste the emeralds I make to level him up, what is the difference? I get XP, sure, but he's scamming me. All right, man. Well, I guess tell me... Tell me how your prison stay was, because that's that's what this place is going to be for you. It's it's your prison. You're not leaving. Have fun. Enjoy. Oh, there's a Rhyperior! Yo! I need you right now. I need this Pokemon. Okay. What do I want to catch him in? I guess an Ultra Ball would look cool for him, since none of my other balls match him. Okay, he's asleep. We're going to catch him. What kind of ball should I use? Dude, look at him! A freaking Rhyperior spawned on top of my enchantment setup. Yes! Dude, that's so sick! Okay, so I've been reading up on this mod about the villagers a little bit, and I think I figured out the issue, and I figured out the most efficient solution for the issue. So the way the mod works, there are sell and buy trades. The sell trades, but essentially one of these trades refers to anything that gives the player emeralds and the other one refers to anything that the emerald the player gives emeralds to the villager so once you lock out this type of trade that gives you emeralds you have to lock out another alternative trade and for these guys i did the bow because typically they will go down to one so i could just go like this and spend oh oh god why why is why can i spend this much why did it take the He's supposed to lock it out at four. I can't make a profit like that. So after figuring out the awful mechanics behind this mod, I went and bought two of the pickaxes and I combined them together on the nearby anvil. And just like that, I was pretty much ready to get myself a fortune three pickaxe. Time to begin re-rolling. Protection four. For 25! I can't not get that. That's so cheap. 24. Boom. One emerald. You are now locked in. Nice. We have protection four. That is nutty. Yo, that's sick, actually. Okay, I can buy a bookshelf or I could try to get the Fortune 3 book. I need the Fortune 3 book anyways, but I need enough time to actually get it. Um, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Uh, stick boy. Come on, don't. Are you, are you serious? Are you serious? I need one more emerald? Dude, you're the worst. So as you can see, things were going smoothly. Kind of. But when it came to villagers, they were stopping me every step of the way. These guys did not want me to prosper in this world. I now needed to farm for even more emeralds just to get the fortune three book. And in order to get emeralds, I had to spend emeralds. And that is exactly what I did the next day, just wasting more time and resources with that annoying Fletcher. And finally, after getting the emeralds I needed, I went back into my librarian's room and I bought that sweet fortune three that I very promptly put onto my diamond pickaxe. Finally, I have gotten the fortune three pickaxe done and I need with the one piece because that's what it's going to help me find. Now we're good to just enchant and mess around with some bows. And then after that, oh, oh, infinity. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Power four. Let's go. That's perfect. Actually. Power four on breaking three punch two. So now that my pickaxe and my bow were done, there were only a couple more steps that I had to make to get Eyes of Ender so we could go to the end. The plan was all coming together. I quickly dumped all of my inventory into my storage system, and I set out to the caves nearby to find some lava underground. Oh, perfect. So I don't even have to go to a cave. I was trying to find a cave over in this mountain, but I saw a little red spot on the map. And boom. We got lava. Honestly, I'm just going to mine. This is a lot too. Nice. I think I'm just going to mine it here while I am here. See, luckily we have the nature's compass. So the second we actually go into the nether, we can just find a location of a fortress and boom. Not going to spend an obnoxious amount of time trying to find one like we've done in the past before. Hmm. When has that happened? 
I'm looking at you, 24 hours of Spider Island. Anyways, with that shade cast aside to one of my old videos, I sat here for the rest of this hour, just mining as much obsidian as I could get, just in case I needed to find myself building more nether portals in the future. I mean, after all, you could never really be too safe. Anyways, I came back from that little lava pool with 44 total obsidian. I mined 40. Because efficiency 4 is correct. Let's go see the nether. I'm excited to see what kind of Pokemon spawn in the nether. Boom. I really hope that certain things like ghasts don't just spawn. That would be cool. But I... You never know. I'm really excited to see the Pokemon. Oh, what is this? What is this spawn? Oh. Before we just abandon this portal altogether, because that's... Yo, there's Magbees and Cenoscorches in here. And there's Coughings. Okay. Let's use the Explorer's Compass. And let's find ourselves a... Fortress. 200 blocks away. Let's go back to the overworld. Wait a sec. Wait a second. Halt. I did. What? Why? Why did I come out of the portal way over here? Oh, this is so scuffed. I don't know where this other portal is going to take me then. I'm just going to, I guess, build another portal. I don't know. I guess it doesn't have to be a portal that gets me back somewhere. I'm just trying to find another fortress. Let's just let's build it right here. And let's see where this one takes us. I want to catch the Pokemon in there. There's some cool Pokemon. Scorch. If I could find a shiny Scorch, Ooh. Ooh. I'd be very happy. Okay. I'm still in the ceiling. This is the same portal. Are you kidding me right now? I'm going to ender pearl my way down. I'm probably going to regret this, but I do have enough to build a portal out. So you know what? I also could use a waystone. I have waystones. So let's... Do this. I need blocks. This is one of the most scuffed nethers I have spawned in in a while. Oh, look, a Magby. I have to catch a Magby. I have to. Level 36. Okay. We're going to hit him with... Uh... Actually, we're going to go for a quick ball first. See if I can catch him right off the bat. I'm, I'm not throwing him at Gengar. Gengar is just standing on him. What do you want me to do? Come on, let's go. We got Magby. Nice. All right, I'm going to grab as much glowstone as I can from this little chunk since glowstone is nice to have. Even though I guess I could trade it from a cleric anyways. I mean, whatever. I'm a hoarder. You know what? I take what I can get. But yeah, we're going to need a bunch of glowstone and we're going to head over towards where the compass says the nether portal actually is. Oh, it's another fortress. Oh, I found it. Oh, it's way closer than I thought it was going to be. Okay, cool. Nice. Oh, there's a chest. Ooh, I love those blocks, too. Oh, we got... Dude, we got another wart. Step one of of two things that we were trying to get. Let's go. Wow, it doesn't... I can't autofill the gold. That's kind of cringe. Look at how much gold I found already just mining with fortune. I know fortune's not the most efficient way to mine for gold in the nether, but I don't have anything else, so. Also, kind of concerning, I'm looking on my map here, and I see wither skeletons. And other skeletons. What is that? Okay, there are wither skeletons. I thought they were not going to spawn. Obviously, I'm wrong. Ooh. This is pretty cool. This place is sick. I love it in here. Alright, this is gonna be where the skeleton's up here. They're not very... Is this what it's like playing Minecraft? Not in hardcore? Everything is so easy to deal with. They're not very aggressive. They don't hit nearly as much damage. Crazy. So now that I had found myself the nether fortress and this place was massive, 
I continued on exploring and looting anything and everything I could get my grubby mitts on. For the most part, a lot of the chests had the basic, you know, random pieces of armor, random tools, lots of coal, lots of flint, just kind of miscellaneous things like that. But every once in a while, I had found a chest that was an absolute banger with loot like gold, diamonds, and even more. And the loot just kept coming. This place was truly insane. There's a mag mortar over there. Yo, I need that. All right. We're going to put it to sleep because I want to catch it with a... Okay, it's asleep now. Let's hit it with Dark Pulse. Okay, Dark Pulse is good damage. We're going to weaken him up. Maybe one more hit. Okay, he woke up. And Gengar's dead now. Nice. I forgot Mammoth Swine. He won't be able to kill... Actually, he'll probably instantly destroy Mammoth Swine. What am I saying? He should be weak enough. I can catch him now. Dude, Magmortar? Let's go. All the Sinnoh pseudos. Let's go. We got Magmortar. Dude, this place is awesome. There's so much stuff here. What? So after exploring this place for a while, I think I got all the loot. I think this happens to be a small one. But I did finally find what I came here for. Boom. A blaze spawner. So now all I need is blaze rods. And then we go get our ender pearls. And oh, hi. Wow, you guys. Okay, okay, cool. I got fire resistance. I don't even care them on fire, dude. Normally I don't use fire resistance, so I have to actually care. Not today. Not today. Boom. That is enough to make all the Eyes of Ender. I just want a couple more blaze rods so that way I can make a brewing stand to keep and I can make a brewing stand to make a cleric so that way I can start trading with them. And then after that, I'm pretty much good to leave here. There's like Mistrevious in here as well, but overall I'm kind of disappointed with the current Pokemon that I'm seeing in here. It's all just gang like Ghastlies, which are already all over the overworld, and then like Sand Scorch. Sen I know there's not that many Pokemon in Kalamon yet, but the Nether does not have many fire types at all. I did find a couple of bag mortars though, so that was cool. All right, I'm walking away with four blaze rods and we have 12 blaze powder. Let's go. Do I have enough villagers at home? Let's go to, I guess, new home. No, let's go to home. It's not even home, because I don't know where home is yet. But, if I go over here, I can actually just make a... Oh, I don't have any resources on me, do I? Are you guys gonna... Like, have you updated your trades at all? Anybody? Anybody? No? Wow. You guys are disappointing. So, this nether portal is essentially useless, because it's broken. But, because we have waystones, I kind of plan on that anyways. Not a big deal. But we did come out of there with so much loot, so... We now have, what? We're up to two stacks plus six gold. We got two Wither Skeleton Skulls, back to back, by the way. We can almost summon a Wither. Is that a lick a licky Let's go, dude. I'm catching you. Dude, we're getting all of the Sinnoh Pokemon here. Let's go. lick a licky Come on, catch. Catch. I hate you. No, I didn't mean to throw another quick ball. That's not good. That's not going to catch. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right. Gengar, I need you to put him to sleep. Nice. Okay. Um, I don't think attacking it's even... No, this works. He woke up already. He's trying to hit me with stuff, like return. He's trying to hit me with normal type moves, so luckily he's brain dead. Alright, we got him in the red. Now we're going to put him to sleep. Perfect. Hit him with the Ultra Ball and the old... What is that? Oh, the old Razzle Dazzle. This dude is ours. Let's go. We got Licky Licky. I unfortunately had to come down from my mountain to find this guy, but I did finally find myself a villager. And I'm going to make you a cleric. Do the thing. Come on. Do the thing. Do, do the thing. Be a cleric. 
I know you don't want to be one of these. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay. He just left, didn't he? I need emeralds, which means I need Fletchers first. Which means I need to find sticks. I guess we're going to do a little bit of classic deforestation again. Only problem is I actually don't have one of those forests with a waystone in them because I never placed the waystone. I guess for now, I'm just going to steal the trees from around here. I mean, why not? Who needs trees, right? If it's a big village, they're living city life now. There's no trees in cities. Yo, a Sneasel. Let's throw a quick ball at him. Try to get him. I can get a Weavile. Come on, Sneasel. Get in the ball. You're a jerk. All right, fine. I guess I'm forced to... Uh, he's really weak. Let's hit him with Nightshade. Don't kill. Perfect. Put him to sleep. And now he is pretty much like got to be 100% catch rate. He's weak. He's asleep. Get in the ball, dog. Get in the ball. You know you want to. Perfect. Nice. Now he's a Fletcher. Nice. Okay, cool. I don't have enough sticks. Okay, let's get rid of you and you. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. And we're going to make as many sticks as we can actually get. Where is this guy going, man? What? I can take advantage of the fact that we're leveling him up. Oh, don't go down there, man. That's just death. So now that we got him doing his thing, let's find another villager and let's turn him into a cleric. Hey, guys, which one of you wants to be a... Uh, uh, you can try to get out, but you can't. I don't think I'm going to have enough to actually level this guy up. I do have gold. Oh, this gives me dank XP too. Nice. After trading for those nine ender pearls, I continued on gathering more wood for the Fletcher, and I went back to trade my way up to getting enough emeralds to finally buy the remaining amount that I needed. And just like that, I could now craft my Eyes of Ender, and I was all set to go to the end. At this point in the video, I had taken a break from what I was doing, and I had come back a couple days later. And as you could probably hear it in my voice, it sounds a bit different, just a little different. That's because almost every single day this entire spring of 2023, my allergies have been doing this to me. I have been dying of nonstop allergies. And it's been making video recording even harder than it already has been. And speaking of video recording being hard, I do also, while I'm here, want to mention that lately I have been having some kind of mental health issues on the channel. And that's why recording videos has been more difficult for me. And you probably have noticed it on the channel in general that there has been a lack of as many uploads that I used to do. And I really want to get back to that. I know I've always said I want to do X, I want to do Y, I want to do Z. I have all these cool video ideas, but a lot of times my health ends up getting in the way of that. And that's very unfortunate. And I just wanted to apologize and just hope that you guys understand at least where I'm coming from, because I know I am very, very privileged to be in this position to be able to make cool videos like this and have an audience of people that genuinely enjoy what I do. And that makes me very happy, and I am honestly speechless. I don't have words to say. I don't have words to say. It's hard to say. It's hard to It's hard to put it into, like, a, a sentence. Even if I were to, like, write a script, which would seem a little more, like, disingenuous, I guess. I don't know. I am very thankful for all of you and for being in this position. And I want to do better, and I want to get back to making more videos. So I just wanted to let you know. And also, yeah, my, vo my voice may be a bit, a bit raspier. For parts of this video and i i can't really do much about it i'm sorry about that all right so there's one more thing i would like to do before we go to the end so we have all the blaze rods that we need and i have been forgetting a crucial feature in this pack the entire time so there are pokemon that you can actually put like as shoulder mounts they can go on your shoulders and they give you buffs. You can get Pidgey, which gives you slow falling, which is exactly why I'm catching this little dude, because now I could use him for slow falling. You can get, what, Pikachu for speed, and I think Pichu as well. 
Zubat also gives you slow falling, but I would not be cursed enough to have a Zubat. Gross. Uh, what else? You get like Wooper for water breathing and Joltik gives you haste. And Joltik, hmm, god tier Pokemon. Electric bug types, never, never go wrong. Oh, look at the little Pidgey. That's actually like really cute. That is so cool. Okay, let's, let's see. And now I just have slow falling. And now I just gotta do a quick rundown of my inventory and we're kind of good to go. I'm hoping to find some cool Pokemon in the end. So I really want to have like ultra balls. Also, I guess I should kind of get looting on my sword, shouldn't I? Because if I can get looting three, then whenever I kill shulkers, I can get like way more shulker shells versus the terrible drop rate that they have otherwise. So I was looking into, you know, how to get like legendary Pokemon. And specifically, Rayquaza is in this mod pack. And I love Rayquaza. He is my favorite legendary by far. Well, it turns out, all you have to do is make a beacon. And to get Rayquaza, you have to be in the end biome or end dimension. And you have to use the dragon egg on a beacon that is level one. Meaning we could just use like iron blocks or whatever we want probably not diamond because i don't have a ton of diamond but you know i mean it is time to kill the ender dragon so we're gonna go to i think stronghold yeah stronghold skeleton farm is okay chunks thank you for scaring me every time it is time to go to the end i'm hoping to keep some ender pearls so ideally there's gonna be a couple of pearls actually in here already. Oh yeah, there's one. So we need... <laughs> Are you kidding me? There is one pearl. That is cringe. Okay. Just in case, put out this lava down here. You can never be too careful. And I guess... I guess we're making 11 eyes of Ender. Woo. To be fair... Oh, I love how that looks with shaders. To be fair, it could have been worse. All right, let's do this. What kind of Pokemon are going to spawn in here? <gasps> oh, that made my heart sink. Don't do that to me, game. I hate that. I hate that every second of it. All right, buddy, we have slow falling. Let's go. So I guess uh, no Pokemon are going to spawn? Oh, wait, we got... Oh, there's an Elgum. An El Elgum? Elgum? However you say it. This little guy with his little... Look at his little head. Oh, he's just kind of chilling. All right, well, I mean, if there's not going to be that many Pokemon or that many things, let's get to this. Uh, wow, look at that damage. Ow. As Phil Swift would say, that damage. Yeah, this is one of the most anticlimactic dragon fights I think I've actually ever done. Ow. Ow. Oh, why? Why do you do this? I was nowhere near getting a hit. Come on, man. I was going to kill you. Fine. I'll do it with the bow. Sheesh. Sheesh. I mean, if you're just going to stand there, I'll just keep taking easy. Whoa. Whoa. I can't move. Ow. She still hurts. What are you doing? Last shot. Come on. Last shot. Last shot. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. She's out of render distance, I guess. I don't know. Woo. That base hit hits every time. The hey, I get free XP from this, though. Look at this. If I hit level 69, you have to like and subscribe. If I don't hit level 69, then you have to give me $10.
Oh. I think some of the XP fell into the portal, so... Looks like everybody owes me $10. That's crazy. Well, I've got 400 pearls. That should be enough. We're going to go ahead and build our way up here. And I guess I'm using wood since I... I can use endstone. Remember, when building up to one of these things, always... This is not enough. These are not enough building blocks. Always make sure that you're ender pearling or trying to go through the portal in the direction of the ender island. Because if you miss that ender pearl... You could just kill yourself and go into the void and lose everything, which would be quite unfortunate. I'd be pretty upset. Oh, this is one of those stressful ones that's like, hey, you come back before you just jump off into the end. Oh, man. I prefer the ones that are like not floating over death. That's kind of my favorite. Maybe back when I listened to Three Days Grace some more, but not now. For majority of the people watching this, I'm sure I just blew your minds by mentioning that. You probably have no clue what Three Days Grace is. And if you do, let me know in the comments down below. And in fact, let me know what your favorite song was. Because Three Days Grace, even now, is still fire. Even though their newer songs are a bit more debated. But, I mean, yeah. It is trapdoor time. We're going to break this. Alright, we're going to open this. Place that. Do this. Boop. And here we go! We are in the end! Are there any end cities nearby? Luckily, I brought my explorer's compass, so it doesn't even matter. So, now that I had taken down the ender dragon and burned a bunch of elgums because I needed ender pearls, I was now on my way to the very first end city to find myself as many shulkers as I could get and get myself the coveted elytra. Also, while there, who knows? Maybe I could come away with even more loot looky in here in the distance it's our boy and i i don't see an end ship and it looks like it's one of the really small ones that oh I, st I still gotta build even more i had to mine so many blocks for this you can see the little chunk of like health out of my pickaxe from all the blocks i have mined from this all right i ran the blocks we're going for the big yuck that makes me so anxious every time i do that wow this is just a baby... Wow, this sucks. There are shulkers, though. I can confirm there are shulkers. This guy was summoned into defense mode. He really did not want to come out of his shell. I got one shulker shell. So that's a thing. This is essentially a nothing burger of an end city. If I had looting, I could at least get some more stuff. Oh, man. Where is this guy? I know where you are, because I have I have insider trading knowledge, dude. I know where you are. I have a mini-map, chode. Ooh, that's a fall. Where? Wait, what? My... Aha! And he's the one to drop something. Go figure. Look at these low-hanging fruit. Look at this. Boop. Open up. Open up. One down. Two down. This is kind of nice. Having the map tell me, you know, everything that's actually here. Like, all the different shulkers. That's really useful. And I guess since this is done, I'm just gonna make a waypoint so I know it's done. After finishing off that last end city, I set out in the closest direction that I could that had easily accessible land. Because I was getting tired of having to mine two or three stacks of blocks just to walk a short distance. After moving out far enough and observing the nearby areas, I checked on my compass to see if there was a new end city nearby, and within 400 blocks, I had found a brand new city. And this one had an end ship, which means one thing. I was getting an elytra. Let's go check out this ender, this end ship, and see what they actually have in here. Hopefully, we can, I mean... Maybe we could just find some other dank loot along with it. I've already got pretty good armor. But if I'm going to have to fight the wither to get a beacon, I'm probably going to need even better armor. Honestly, the greatest part about having this Pidgey on my shoulders is I could raid these end cities. And the biggest thing that was actually an issue before doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter if I, you know, get shot with levitating. I could just, you know, fall. Although I kind of wish one of them would do that right now, because I, 
I'm running out of blocks, so yeah. What's up, nerd? Hey, you got some stuff for me? Hello? What? Kinda cringe. S stop. Wow, you guys have terrible drop rate. Let's see. Diamond chest plates with blast protection 3. I'm breaking 3. We got 12 iron, 7 gold, horse armor. A mending diamond sword with fire aspect. That's going part of the god sword. And projectile 4 boots. Not, not too great on the boots, but honestly, this is what I'm here for. The coveted Elytra, Elytra, Elytra. Also, I was supposed to come in here with, like, unbreaking. Oh, I didn't realize this guy was even here. I was supposed to come in here with books for, like, unbreaking and mending, and I just didn't do that. So I needed to craft them. Or I needed to put them on my Elytra so that way I could actually fly and go to more end cities. But it's okay, we honestly don't need more end cities. We just need to get mending. Hey, buddy. Oh, what the? Oh, that was so weird. He teleported on top of me and it forced me down. That was really weird. Oh, he also dropped one. It's way down there now. So there's no more of these guys here. I'm gonna go take the dragon head and we can move on to the actual, you know, just destroying all their families. That's my favorite part. All right, soak touch, boom. First ender chest acquired, which... I guess it's just extra storage. We have a backpack, and we have ender chests, and we have shulkers. I don't even think I need the ender chest. I just, you know, take everything I can get, because that is both the human and the American way. After quickly looting the first end city room, I made it my goal to as quickly as possible exterminate the rest of the shulker menace. I absolutely blitzed my way through every nook and cranny of this end city until everything was clean and a lot of the loot that i found along the way was a pretty solid bonus uh we got pants i can't see they have vanishing but they have some kind of protection three these are mine now we have a bane of earth ew gross got two diamonds i mean i'll take the sword i i, I guess that's not it's kind of not that great i'm gonna start dumping some of this stuff in here. I, I don't need all of this random stuff in my inventory. It's just taking up all of my space. Look at this chest! There are four sets of diamond boots! What? Alright, we got iron armor. We got protection three. I'm breaking three. More iron. Uh, I can't see... What are these? Protection three? I'm breaking three. Uh, Protection four. Curse of binding. And curse of vanishing and curse of ooh. I know I I probably said some some funny stuff like wow this is some of the some crazy loot I got but honestly for an end city this is probably some of the most mediocre loot I have ever gotten from an end city. Normally I go wow ooh ah and that's I mean for vanilla Minecraft standards like I'm not even just saying that because I play modded Minecraft and there's some crazy stuff in modded no. Kind of just, kind of just got scammed. Not gonna lie. How much XP is gonna cost me to go home? Uh, three. Wait, which one of these is the actual home? Honestly, the end kind of disappointed me. I was expecting way more like Pokemon. There was, it was worse than the Nether. There were, there were no Pokemon whatsoever. Look at all those villagers down there. They're perfect. They're perfect for what I need. All right, we can now make our shulkers. So I'm gonna make, boom, 10 shulker boxes. And don't worry, I'm not gonna keep them as that ugly, kind of like basic purple color. I don't know why regular shulkers just look so, so ugly. We're gonna go out and pick some cool flowers and we're gonna color a whole bunch of them. But first I need to also make a PC. As you could saw, as you can see, I, t I try to take like some stained glass and see if I could sup, oops. I tried to see if I could substitute it to see if I could, like, make a PC in the end. You cannot do that. I grabbed a whole bunch of flowers so I can dye all these. And I learned something really sad along the way. You cannot put shulkers inside of your backpack. Alright, now we have perfection. We got red shulkers, 
blue shulkers, yellow shulkers, purple shulkers, and orange shulkers. Honestly, this is probably enough, but I feel like I do want to go back into the end. Maybe after we get our elytra going, we can like just get more shulker boxes and get like a full inventory. That would be pretty cool. Plus along the way, I also grab myself a lot, like 37 iron. This is like just random surface iron. That's pretty good. That's like really good. All right. So I think it is now finally time to build. I've been thinking this whole time, you know, the locations to build at. We have those other two areas and I'm kind of thinking this place is the nicest. I kind of really like this area and I'm thinking maybe what if I built a house like over there and then over here can just be like, you know, our like regular villager kind of area. It is a bit of a mess here and there, but I kind of, you know, I kind of like that. You know, it's our nice cozy little home. And we can also start getting like apricot farms or apricorn farms going. Why do I keep calling you apricots? It's so weird. Now that I've decided where I wanted to build my house, the first step was to get to landscaping. In order to do that, I was going to need a better diamond shovel. And I was now looking for a joltic because when putting Joltik on your shoulder, he grants you the haste perk, which makes you even more efficient at smelting through all of that dirt. I spent a good amount of time looking in the nearby forest until finally, after sleeping in my bed to get some better daylight, I had found him chilling on the side of the mountain. Wow, he really does not want, what is he doing? Okay, Joltik, hypnosis, it missed, cool. Hypnosis. Okay, he's sleeping. We're gonna hit him with an... Get out of the way, Gengar. I gotta be careful not to push him in the water. I think I'll drown him. Ah, uh, there seems to be an issue. Alright, cool. We got Joltik. Let's go. Look at the little Joltik. He's adorable. I love Joltik. Top tier, S tier Pokemon. I'm thinking... I wanna build right here and i'm thinking i'm gonna level it out to probably this height let's go instant dirt mining this is what progress looks like now that i had caught myself a joltik and i had the ability to instantly delete any and every block in my path i began landscaping the area that i was going to build my house on i was hoping i could make a nice decently sized house since I know a lot of the times I go overboard and build something obnoxiously large. And I was kind of hoping to have like a nice cliffside view along with a nearby apricorn farm. This place was going to look nice. So as you can see, I have made some progress. So I actually planted these because I was thinking, you know, I wanted to make the farm, but I didn't know where the farm was going to go. So I want to test out parts of these like apricorn trees to see how they like behave when you plant them on your own. These things are sick. So you could just do this and you have a chance of getting seeds and you can make more. Either way, these are pretty nice. Only thing is they do occasionally get like stuck like this. And I'm thinking about building the farm probably over there. And once we do get that farm going, we could start to massively like harvest tons of these and just make as many balls as we can because I... I'm thinking maybe I'll go for the full Pokedex too. You know, I want to get Rayquaza and maybe Mewtwo if we have the chance. But like a full Pokedex would be sick. But here's here's kind of where we're at. So I've got like the foundation built. Obviously the outside's still kind of simplistic because I didn't add stuff to it yet. I kind of started to imitate a little bit of like the styles of stuff. And then this these, these will be windows essentially. And I think once the outside's kind of like nice it'll look a lot better like right now without a roof it looks kind of scuffed but we got like the nice little entrance area over here we have like our outside dock that we can use to like or our deck we can use to look outside and get this gorgeous view and then if we go inside this will be like our kind of cooking area we'll put like furnaces and stuff right there over here we have our brand new enchantment area i'm probably gonna get some more bookshelves and finish lining this area up and then over here, we have our obsessive amount of chests. Like, an obnoxious amount of chests. And if anything, this is actually a lot less chests than I normally place, but... I just wanted to have the storage, and then we'll probably, like, get all of the 
stuff on there and we'll kind of work with the floor. I think the house is going to be okay. I don't think it's going to be like one of my favorite house builds that I've made, but you know, it, it kind of works. At this point, it was now hour 19. And because I had majority of my house kind of laid out, I began crafting more item frames and organizing all of my inventory from my old house onto the new one. And let me tell you, this was a little bit of an undertaking, but after getting most of those resources organized and all over into my new chests, I then started working on the inside of the house. All right, so the inside area here is looking a lot better. It's a lot less like open now. I just need to make like a roof, get some lighting and get some, some glass going in here, honestly. Oh, and speaking of getting stuff going, I haven't even like placed my PC and stuff out yet. I don't quite know where to put that in here. I'm thinking maybe like, maybe like right there. It's in front of a window, but it kind of makes this spot right here a bit less. Maybe, maybe we'll move the PC like over one and we'll put this here and then we'll put a second healing machine there. So that way I can like double heal Pokemon. Okay. I, I just placed these, but so that way these will charge and I can heal Pokemon faster if I if I do need to. Although I, I don't think I will. My inventory is trashed again. All right, so now that we have a little bit of our house done, we need to find glass, right? I've actually, normally finding sand is super easy. <laughs> not today, not today. I have been looking every time I go out and explore and there's been like no beaches. I mean, I know early off in the game I found them, but that was back when I, you know, didn't need them because they're, not supposed to be that rare so i was thinking we should go exploring you know we should go exploring anyways i want to do it catch more pokemon find some cool things loot because we're gonna need a lot of materials especially if we're gonna make a charge tier one beacon for Urquaza. but anyway since we're gonna go out and explore i'm hoping to before we before we do that i'm hoping to get our elytra enchanted that means we need two things we need emeralds and we need villagers to give us unbreaking three and mending. So I'm also going to need sugarcane for gunpowder. So I'll, we'll need to make fireworks as well. Um, I have lecterns. So let's grab four lecterns. So we got lecterns to reroll some villagers. We're going to grab some fletching tables so we can just trade easily. And for now, honestly, let's just grab a ton of wood. And it's somehow nighttime again, so that's cool. I get to sleep in my brand new beautiful bed. Look at this. So I actually found this new area that might be the play on trading with villagers. I found a new village over near my home area. I called it Village with Frogs in Sand. This is actually where I got some of my sand from. This is like a nearby like river. And I got it from in there. There's also frogs. There's like frogs everywhere here. And there's also a witch. You can see all the frogs on, like, the map. Alright, which one of you wants to be a Fletcher? I know you guys love Fletching. So, here's here's the deal here. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna dig a pit. I know, I know, I know. It's not the best way to start a conversation with someone. We're gonna dig a pit, but hear me out. Hear me out. We're, we're gonna dig a pit. And in the pit, we're going to place a bunch of these. Now, if anyone wants these jobs, they will just go in the pit. Who wants to go in the pit? You want a job? Who wants a job? Oh, you want a job. Okay, we're breaking all your job blocks. Ooh, this is my bed. It's purple. No jumping on my bed. Ooh, also purple bed. And free wood. All right, we're gonna take this so you no longer have a job. Who wants to go in my job pit? Oh, look at that, look at that. We gotta take her for this. Whoop, oh, whoop, oh, oh, no. You, come, get in the pit, dog. In the pit, yeah, 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 yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, not you, you're a netwit. Okay, you want the job pit. What are you? Oh, you're a Fletcher, yeah, yeah. Go in the job pit. Go in the job pit. Nice, look at this. So now that I had my villagers willingly working out of their beautiful pit that was definitely by choice and not a trap, 
I sat here harvesting lots of XP and as many emeralds as I could until I had enough to the point where I was ready to go get those enchanted boots to make my new elytra. All right, I got myself about two stacks of emeralds, which not the most, but in theory, it should be enough to get like the mending books that I need. While I'm here, I also want to check out this biome over here because it's really cool looking. There's like a ton of like, there's like whoopers, there's gold ducks, there's coughings here, kind of like in the nether. There's also a witch over there. I'm not going to mess with the witch because I don't really have anything to benefit from it. Ooh. Okay. I have to be very careful with this because he will kill my Gengar. So put him to sleep. It failed. That's wait, it failed. Does it not affect him? No, it affects him. Uh, these attacks will probably kill it. It's ghost type. Nightshade shouldn't do much. Man, what is with them waking up in like two turns? That's crazy. Okay, we got him in the red and he's asleep. It's time. Catch him with the Pokeball. There's just another one over there. And there's a Weezing. Should I just catch these guys for like Pokedex entries? We're getting the full Pokedex, baby. Let's go. Is that a village up there? Wait a second. Yo, we found another village. Oh, it's a nice village, too. It's one of the cooler ones, not the... That's problematic. Okay. Ow. Uh, I guess we're going to go all the way up there and get to this village, because I really want to see what's up there. Oh, this place is sick. Look at this. There's even, like, little trade stands. A firework? That's mine now. Thank you. Can I have it? Firework. I'll take that. You had an ender pearl back there too, I see. This is just like another source of villagers. We've just got even more villagers now to work with here. All right, now we re-roll until we get one of the things that we actually need. All right, looting two for eight. I have to get this. I can't, I can't give this up. I have also gotten protection for like five times. What is going on? All right, this place is really cool and is making me super jealous that I did not make this my house. What? Is this a yin yang glass floor? Although if this was darker stained glass, it'd look better, but still. Oh, there's diamonds. There's also glowing. I have never used glow item frames yet. All right, after taking a year to look around this place, I finally found Oh, nice. There's like a cool little farm up here, too. Oh, this also would have been a good place to live. Dude, look at this space. And there's nearby lava. It's fine. We already have our house. This is making me jealous now. Okay, we're going to call this place Village Trade Topia. Not a great name. Don't care. And we're going to go home and get our Looting Three Sword. And then we're going to come back and get... Unbreaking three and our mending. There we go. That looks a lot better. And we can also begin filling in some of these random windows so Pokemon will stop walking into my property. Hey man, this is this is a Florida property, and like, you know what happens when you walk into property on Florida? I don't I don't think you want to know, honestly, so I would not recommend it. But anyways, we got our sword, sharpness four, unbreaking three, fire aspect two, and mending. And now we can make looting. So we got two looting two books so we can pop these together. Make looting three. And hopefully I have enough XP to do this. Well, it only costs 10. What should we name this sword? I need to make a cool name for it. You know what? I got the perfect name. I have to Google how to spell it though so I don't screw it up. If I screw it up, I'm never going to hear the end of it. There we go, the perfect sword name, Erendite. Let me know if you know which game this is from. It's from a game, and it may not be from what you think it is. Let me know in the comments if you know. But anyways, we have Looting 3 now. Finally, after all this time, I could actually use Looting. Alright, I have my beautiful Elytra now named Wings of Unova. We can officially fly, but first, I'm going to need gunpowder and fireworks so we've got 28 gunpowder 
And then we can actually craft a bunch more gunpowder using a bunch of these. So I can make a total of two and a half stacks-ish. And then if we take this and make paper, we can actually make... I'm only going to do tier one gunpowder. Or sorry, uh, tier one rockets. Ooh, look at that. That's a lot of rockets. Okay. And now we can actually go in here, grab our shulker box. And we could just throw like... To be honest, we'll throw those in there. We'll put these in here. We'll put more gunpowder in there. I think what's holding me back is sugarcane. So, paper. So if I do find a sugarcane along the way, I'll also take that. I could just use them to make more fireworks. And then we'll probably just dump... Oh, this one doesn't stack because it doesn't have a flight type. That sucks. All right, so we got our rockets and we got our elytra. And we're kind of ready to start exploring. I do need to get sand and I know I need to build a roof for this house, but I'm going to be honest. I really want to go explore first instead. So we're probably going to do that. Especially since I've got... I need to get a lot of materials. We need to go mining... And I happen to have found a nearby area that is perfect for both mining and there's a dungeon in there. And I really want to check out the dungeon. But first, I'd also like to make, I guess, a couple of golden apples and then some more ultra balls. Since we kind of have, like, we're a bit, like, short on ultra balls, I guess. So let's make as many as we can. We can make... Oh yeah, that's good. That's probably good. So we have this area over here called Dungeon Cave. And I put Explore Me on here. Because this place... Is nuts looking. So I was looking down here and I was like, Oh, there's so many resources I can mine. I was like, that's great. And then I saw this. Because this thing is pretty big normally. These structures go on for like a long time. And you can hear like the other zombies kind of spawning. There are a lot of zombies down here. I hear them. I don't see them yet. Oh, there's also a, a geode nearby. We can get, like, a geode. Amethyst is such a beautiful block. But, uh, we kind of got this little sacrifice room going on over here. It's kind of... If they had one wither skull in... Ooh, a god apple? Do not mind if I do. Since I was down in this cave for resources, before I went further into that little dungeon area, I thought, why not check the nearby cave for any coal, iron, and honestly, whatever I could get my meaty, grubby loot goblin hands on. And even though I wasn't down here for that long, I had already accumulated a ton more resources. By the time I came out of this cave, my inventory looked like this. Elytra squad rise up literally and figure- oh! <laughs> and figuratively. We're pretty much good. We don't need any more like iron or gold or anything and I want to save the rest of what our mission is going to be for Pokemon. I want to catch more Pokemon. We got to train our Pokemon if we're going to fight a level 100 Rayquaza. And I want to hunt down these dungeons, which means I need to also hunt down a woodland mansion. So we're going to go straight to, I guess, the blaze farm. Oh, I should have put this on first. Okay. Oh, yeah, blaze farm. Yeah. Hey, guys, how's it going? Ah, yes, I have looting now. And because of my fire resistance, you do nothing to me. Absolute peasants. Absolute peasants. You're not why I'm here, though. This is kind of cool, because, like, the slow falling just makes the elytra so much more effective in the nether. Now, this is more like it. Alright, this is the weirdest thing I've found. I've not had any luck finding a new village, and I still can't even use the compass to find a new one. It still just oh, it leads to the old one. But I just found a waystone in a tree in the nether. Give me that. Yes, please. Three waystones here. At this point, I just want a new nether fortress. That would be much nicer than a waystone. I was starting to think that all hope was lost. And then, finally, 
my compass had locked on to a brand new fortress. And after a little bit of flying, it turns out they can spawn next to Bastions because there is a Bastion directly next to it. However, I had stumbled upon my second fortress and it was now time to begin hunting Wither Skeletons. Are there any Wither Skeletons here? Like at all? Hello? I'd like to make an order. Oh, I see some on the map. Okay. Oh, hi. I need you to come over here. Drop me a skull. Ow. He did not drop me a skull. Come on. Give me a skull. No skull. So we have pretty good chance of getting... Oh. Oh. I'm going to eat a golden apple just in case... Oh, that's an Aegis Slash. Yo, or a hone edge. Okay, if I try to catch him, am I going to get like smacked in the butt cheeks while I do it? I feel like I'm going to. Let me get rid of these guys first. Come on, somebody drop me a skull. Nope. Any takers, any takers, come on. If I don't get a skull from any of you, I'm going to have to go to an entire other place. And I'm not going to do that. That's not going to be fun. No, Hone Edge. Yeah, 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 Hone Edge. Okay. He's only level 30, so I'm just going to put him to sleep, and we're going to throw Ultra Balls at him. That's what we're going to do. Yo, Hone Edge looks cool. He looks great. Come on. Catch. Nice. All right, we got a couple more shots at getting ourselves a Wither Skull up here. I may already have it. Ow. Oh, wait, he dropped one. He dropped one. Let's go! We got a Wither Skull. And now that we have this, we can summon ourselves a Wither. And once we have that, we can make a beacon and boom! Rayquaza. But that means we need to go on a montage of training. Because I cannot catch a level 100 Rayquaza. Either we go on a montage of training, or I could maybe make a Master Ball. Oh, you need Netherite Ingots for a Master Ball! Although you get another star for killing the... So hear me out, a, na a Master Ball would be great for getting Rayquaza because as a level 100, I don't know if I can train my Pokemon that fast within this much time. You know what I mean? I feel like my Pokemon are not going to be strong enough to take on that encounter, even if I go on a training montage. It would take forever. So what if I got myself two Netherite Ingots and I made a Master Ball? I feel like in regular, like, Nintendo games, like regular Pokemon games, Master Balls are kind of lame, right? It's kind of like, oh, you get a Master Ball, easy catch, whatever. But in Pokemon, in Minecraft, you have to get these rare resources to get a Master Ball. So in order to do that, I have to go back to the end to get one more Shulker Shell, and then we gotta kill the Net- we gotta kill the Wither to get another star, and then we gotta get two Netherite Ingots. I've already got one Netherite Scrap. So honestly, it's kind of doable. I kind of want to do it. We just got ourselves a Charmander. And two, I have some issues with my plan that I had made. I forgot that in order to make a beacon, you need a Nether Star. Meaning you have to kill a Wither. Which would mean if I wanted to make a Master Ball, I would need to kill two Withers. Instead of the one. Meaning I need more... Wither Skulls. Guess we're back to Wither Skull hunting. Does that say Meloetta? Why is it a substitute? That's a legendary. Okay, okay. Um, it's level 55. We're gonna put it to sleep. Come on, Gengar, now is not the time to miss. Gengar, come on! He's gonna die. He missed three times! What is going on? Okay, it's asleep. I guess I'm going to throw a ball at it. I don't... My Gengar is absolutely throwing right now. If this doesn't catch, it's just going to die. Okay. Gengar is going to die. No, it's still asleep. Okay. Come on. I, I don't know how to weaken you without killing you. Dude, it's... Okay, it's still asleep. I feel if I attack it, it's going to immediately like just wake up. This is not going to catch. There's no way. 
It's still asleep. Is it going to change from being like a substitute? Why is it a substitute? Okay, now its picture is an Ultra Ball. What is going on? Come on. Gengar is at 2 health. Please just catch. Alright. He keeps seeing Disable. Let's put it to sleep. Uh, Meloetta is... This isn't going to kill it, is it? No, it does next to nothing. Nightshade super effective? Oh, it's not very effective. And Gengar is dead. Okay. Uh, Blaziken's not going to kill it, surely. It's part grass, isn't it? I can't use any of these moves. It's going to kill it. How many Ultra Balls is this thing going to eat, though? It's going to kill my whole team. Uh, if it crits, you know, let's try to catch it while it's in the yellow. I don't feel comfortable hitting it again. These guys are so rare. I don't, I've not run into a, okay. And he killed my barrier. Cool. Awesome. You know, I hope whatever cool legendary music that's going on in the background right now makes this battle a lot better because this, <laughs> this is rough. This is a uh, rough. Come on, come on, come on. Dude, it's going to wipe my whole team. Meloetta, please, you're eating up all my Ultra Balls. They're so expensive. I don't even know if it's still damaged or not. Oh, it caught! It caught! Wait, it caught! I was getting ready to th try throwing Moon Balls. Yo, I got Meloetta! So after finally catching that very, very tricky Meloetta... I continued exploring around the Nether Fortress in the hopes of maybe stumbling upon a couple of Wither Skeletons. Because at this point, I didn't quite know what to do. After that absolute struggle that was just catching a simple legendary, like Meloetta, how was I going to catch a level 100 Rayquaza with an underlevel team? Not to mention the amount of time it would take to properly level up the team, it was looking like I was going to need that Master Ball. And if I wanted to get that, I needed to find three more Wither Skulls. And it was not looking like those were going to be found here. Okay, I have searched all over this place. Which is admittedly not that much because it's not that big of a fortress. And there are no more Wither Skeletons. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I just, uh... Where's the waypoint? Get me out of this. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Let's just keep doing this. Let's do this. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. I'm done. Also, not gonna lie, ADHD kinda stops me from always staying on track. I find something cool and I'm like, oh, time to explore this. All right, so honestly, let's just grab our elytra and let's fly, I guess. I guess we're flying 2,000 blocks this way. We could also get some sand while we're at it. I don't really need a ton of sand now, I guess. There is a ton of ocean right near us, apparently. So I guess that is the perfect place to find this thing. We'll be there in no time. I'm just worried. This is the Young's Better Ocean Monument, meaning it's probably more dangerous. Luckily, what I need is not any of the loot that's inside of it. I just need... Oh, wow, that's... Oh, okay. Render? Whoa, that was scary. Wow, this is a really pretty biome. What is this place? This is like if the Far Lands was real. Oh. Okay. I really hope there's not any bad guys here. Okay, real quick. I'm going to take this off. What does uh, Prismarine come from? It comes from Sea Lanterns, right? This is all copper. What is that biome? That's gorgeous! Okay, I see the Elder Guardian in the middle. I I'm not gonna be able to break anything now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a waystone here and just teleport and get milk. Ocean Monument. We're gonna be like dad, except we're actually gonna come back. All right, so Prismarine Crystals only drop from Guardians and Elder Guardians. And I don't think the Elder Guardian, or sorry, I don't think the Guardians is actually able, they're actually able to spawn. 
So I think all we have is the Elder Guardian to take down. And if that's the case, I'm gonna need a lot of milk before I fight it. You know, it's kind of funny. This is a 24 hour video, but because I don't actually have to care about doing stuff every day as much, I sleep a lot more often in Minecraft. So even though it's 24 hours, it's pretty close in comparison to what you think it would be to just being 100 days. Fun fact. All right, so we got our milk. So we're going to teleport there and we're going to really quickly try to break blocks as fast as we can. Let's also eat a golden apple just in case. There's sponges. That oh, found him. Come on up, buddy. Oh, I didn't break enough space for him to come up. All right, let's go. Let's get a swipe on him. I gotta do this one at a time because I just don't... I don't want to drown. If you're not going to cooperate down there, then what I'm going to have to do is just make a bunch of doors. The Elder Guardian's weakness. Doors. Yeah! Sucks to suck, nerd. So, here I was, sitting in a pocket of air inside of a door at the bottom of an ocean monument with no luck on my side whatsoever. If I wanted to get XP shares to train my Pokemon to take on Rayquaza, I was going to need Prismarine Shards. And the only way to get those is by killing Guardians. However, there were no Guardians here, which made my life not very easy. All right, so I've been sitting here thinking for a second. Wait, what is on the map? Is that a Clink Clank? There's a Clink Clank down here? That's such a weird Pokemon to find down here. Okay, I've been sitting here thinking for a minute, and I don't think I'm... I, I think I'm wrong here. Hear me out. So, I'm gonna get this Fortune Pickaxe instead of the Silk Touch one. I think... I think I was right, right? So, I did a Google search, and I think it gaslit me. Did a Google search seeing if I could get Prismarine Crystals any other way. And I think I could just mine them if with non-silk touch. And these should just drop them. Yeah. They literally just drop them. This is why you never just trust the first Google search that you get. All right. We're going to waste our diamonds making helmets. We're going to make five of these so all my Pokemon can get XP shares. And if you're wondering, don't doesn't that make it so that the Pokemon don't get that much XP? Actually, no. So I was a while ago when I was learning about this mod pack, I learned that XP shares work differently than the games. They essentially just generate free XP out of out of thin air. Like it doesn't make sense. Like it just pulls XP out of nowhere. So now that I had my ugly shiny Igly buff, apparently, and I had my XP shares, I was now ready to set out looking for new members of my team. And honestly, I did not have much time to do this. So I was in a hurry. The first thing I did after dumping my inventory is go back to the village near the swamp with the frogs to try to find myself a whooper that I could use to give me water breathing so I could go explore underwater near the ocean monument to try and find a Dratini. Now that I have whooper and I can like breathe underwater, this is absolutely goaded. I could hunt down like any Pokemon I want underwater. Dratini. Dratini. Wait, there's a Dratini. I see him. Target acquired. We have found the Dratini. Aha. Dratini! Yes! Look at Gengar stuck in the ceiling. All you can see is his dumpy. I'm glad that Cox. I don't know where the Ultra Ball just went. Okay. Dratini is acquired. Now we just need one more Pokemon. This place is crazy. I kind of don't want to leave, but I've got things to do. I've got a team to build to take on the great Rayquaza. And then maybe if we can manage to also do it, I want to take on... I would like to take on a different legendary. Find at least one legendary cave. So we gotta get out of here and fast. So before we do go out and get that last Pokemon, let's... See what we have to train with around here. What kind of Pokemon we get. You have a little 38 Tauros. 
So if I kill this Tauros, how much XP do they all get? That magic carp got 10,000 XP? Oh, we have to evolve him. It's time. Shiny Gyarados. Let's go. Put Blaziken away. Shiny Gyarados. Oh, yeah. One of the classic OG shinies. After exploring for a surprisingly short amount of time, I ended up stumbling upon some place I had been before. Not too far away from the base, there's this nice kind of snowy-ish area that is full of Stantlers and Pilo Swines and even Weirdeer. And these guys all spawn around level 40 and they are perfect for the XP farm. Unfortunately though, for some weird reason, Weirdeer don't drop XP. Maybe just because they're one of the newer Pokemon that were added, they're still kind of bugged out but that's overall pretty disappointing. But nonetheless, now that I found this great place to grind XP, I was doing exactly that. This was a classic 80s training montage. Is that an Eevee? Is that a shiny Eevee? Wait, oh, there's a shiny Eevee. Please catch in this ball, please. It's nighttime. I don't know if it's a full moon. It's not, please, please. Shiny, shiny Umbreon, yes! Yes! I am physically clapping! I don't care if that Eevee's level 53. I just got a shiny Eevee! So to start off hour 24, I was back to the XP grind. And I non-stop sat here slaying every Pokemon in existence, trying to level my Pokemon up. While doing this, I also kept finding random shinies. Got a couple of shiny Pinecos, I got an Emolga, and I even found this Stantler. At this point, most of my Pokemon were in the 70s, and some of them were almost level 80. But I had one problem, and that was friendship. Friendship does not work like it regularly does in Pokemon games in Cobblemon, and I was desperately struggling to get this Eevee to get enough friendship to evolve. And after a total of 40 minutes into this hour, finally, I had gotten exactly that with Eevee. I had gotten him to 63% and he was ready to evolve. And conveniently enough, it was nighttime. We now have shiny Umbreon. Let's go. He's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. We need to make ultra balls. We need as many as we can get for this encounter. I think ultra balls are going to be the big issue here for Rayquaza. We need lots of ultra balls. If we run out, game over. Um, besides that, we are going to make Pokemon healing machines and we'll be fine there. See so yeah, we can make 53 times four. Look at those ultra balls. Okay. So Meloetta that was still at a decent amount of health. Meloetta took like a stack of these, right? Should I make more? <laughs> Should I make more of these? What? What other kind of Pokemon? Okay, we're going to be in the end. Is there any other Pokeball that we could use that would benefit us that would look cool to catch Rayquaza in? So Cherish Balls are cool, but you can't craft those. Master Ball, obviously we can't do that. Beast Balls have like no chance of catching unless it's an Ultra Beast. Um, I could try throwing a Quick Ball at him, but I kind of don't want Rayquaza to be in a Quick Ball. That's kind of an ugly... Yee. Okay, what about moon balls, right? Times four increases at night depending on how close to the moon phase. Wait, how close the moon phase is to a full moon. I wonder if that counts in the end. You need black, white, yellow, and blue. Should I make some of those? We've we've probably got. I could grab this and put it right there. I love that feature. This is such a slept on mod. Look at this. It's so cool. Also, I wanted to mention something that happened when when I was training. I learned that if you do this, where let's say you battle, you're like, oh, blaze kick, and then you leave the battle while they faint. That takes away from the effectiveness of your Pokemon's friendship going up. <gasps> There's a Ryolu! What the? Why are you spawning here after all this time? I wanted you on my team! I'm genuinely so upset. I mentioned I wanted a Ryolu, and I couldn't find where they spawned. Why did he just spawn in front of my house? All right. All you gotta do is kill a wither, which we're also gonna do in the end. So we're gonna prep our inventory, go to the end, kill that wither, 
make a beacon, which means I have to bring obsidian. And we are going to fight Rayquaza. All right, so now that we're here, it is time to fight the Wither the only right way that there is. By essentially cheesing him by, by going underneath this. We're going to go underneath the portal and spawn him the traditional way that I always do in my hardcore worlds. That just makes life easier, so I don't have to actually fight him. Let's place these first, just so they could start charging. <laughs> this is so stupid. Because the second you start a battle, they don't charge anymore. Oh, that, that one is going to bother me. Alright, it's been a while since I fought a Wither, so let's see if I... Pretty sure I did this right. So this way, when you place these, he gets stuck like that. Wait for him to do his thing. Do your thing. Oh. Okay. Apparently I did it wrong. Oh, don't destroy my PCs. I guess we're doing this the traditional way, dog. I hope he doesn't kill me, actually. Alright. Doing this the traditional way, I guess. Oh, this sucks. Why did he break out? Why did you break out? This is stupid. This is so stupid. Fine, 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 man. You know what? Fine, fine. I'm just going to the portal. Enough of that. Oh, now I have to deal with this. Okay. Let's make a ton of golden apples. I didn't have enough golden apples for that fight. All right, now we got 18 golden apples. All right, going back again. Round two. All right, buddy. Not dealing with it this time. I guess first off, let's put this down here so it's nice and safe. Oh, that's not a very safe place. I don't want to put it there. I just don't want him to blow it up. I'm just going to name it end real quick. And we're going to go find this jerk. All right, man. This is for all the marbles, you jerk. Wow, you hurt. I'm eating the god apple. I'm eating the god apple. Forget it. Who needs a god apple? We're playing Pokemon. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Who wins this fight? Who wins this fight, huh? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Give me my nether star. Thank you. Okay, so anyways, I forgot the glass, but we do have our nether star. So I'm going to place this beacon right here. And we are going to teleport back home. All right, so I'm going to make my nine blocks of gold because... You know what? No, Rayquaza gets one block of diamond in the middle. Because he is a superstar. There we go. Block of diamond, and we got gold. We got our sand over here cooking. We can now make our beacon. Boom. We now have a beacon and everything to set it up. Now I just need to bring the dragon egg. And it is time to summon Rayquaza. I am excited for this. So after all this time... All this preparation, I was now finally ready to summon Rayquaza. Not only was he an epic legendary, he just so happened to be my favorite legendary. I was both nervous as hell and stoked to take on this beast. I'd be lying if I, if I didn't say I was anxious for this. All right, our tier one beacon. Boom. Oh, he's not shiny, which is very unfortunate, but it is go time. Level 100, Rayquaza. Let the music play. The iconic music. Look at this absolute Giga Chad beast. Let's see. So I'm only level 76. What happens if I Dragon Claw him? Is that going to kill him? Huh? He just one-shot Charizard. Ice Fang. Ice Fang mit- come on. No, 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 no. Okay, Ice Fang got him down there. Okay. So... 
crunch won't do anything to him. It missed? Wh why are my attacks missing? Excuse you? All right, Gengar, we're gonna put him to sleep. We're just gonna go for the hypnosis. And we're going for the catch. Okay, should I throw a heavy ball at him? No, let's try. Let's test out moon balls. So we got moon balls, ultra balls, and we got some heavy balls. We're gonna test out a moon ball. I feel like I'm gonna regret this. If I catch Rayquaza in a moon ball, in a moon ball, that'd be really cool. What? 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 If you saw my face right now, I'm, I'm doing like the typical streamer pog face mouth open. I did all that prep and he just caught. There's no way he's a 100 catch rate, by the way. There's no way. Are you telling me that I crafted all of these healing machines for nothing? Do you know how long it takes to pick these things up? Look at this. I have so many ultra balls and this dude caught in one. Boom. Rayquaza. We caught Rayquaza, dude! Now that we have Rayquaza, we caught our legendary. There should be, like, these caves that open up. We need to go find this right now. So I think I have to dig straight down. I kind of technically should have brought, like, a Joltik with me. I think I have Pokemon PCs on me, don't I? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I'm do. I'm good. We're good. I can just get Joltik and dig straight down. I mean, it doesn't technically matter it's only 1400 blocks away too it's pretty close we are getting much closer we are 50 what is this wait what is this structure legend dungeon i mean it might be it actually is that a beacon i think this is the beacon that we have to use an an item on i think it's a totem of undying and it spawns a legendary so this will be Legend Dungeon. I'm going to need to go steal some other waystones. And I also need to steal some XP from villagers. So we're going to come back here. We're going to get a Totem of Undying first. So I'm definitely pretty close to it. There's a lot of snowy biomes now. I think this is the first time finding a real snow biome. So maybe we can actually get some... Oh, villagers are dying. Natural selection. Maybe we can find some new Pokemon over here as well. All right, you guys got a beacon or you guys got a waystone for me to steal? Looking for your waystone. If you don't have one, why am I here? I don't think these guys have a waystone. But don't worry, they have they have Smoochums. Everyone loves Smoochum. It's your favorite Pokemon, right? The useless baby form of an already really creepy Pokemon. Yeah, I'm gonna catch it. Why not? Oh, this was the village it was locating. Not that one. Oh, this is way better. Nice. It's like its own. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love this. You guys got a uh, waystone? Oops, didn't mean to do that. You guys also have some... What do, what do you have in your houses? You got some free bread. I feel like if I take bread from you guys, you're probably going to freeze and um, starvation might kick in. But that's okay. Dude, look at this place. This place would have made a great home. It is super cool in here. Bro, what? Ironically, these kind of match Pokemon theming. This is like, it's like a sword and shield kind of vibe. Hey man, you trapped in here too? You come here often. Finally, the Waystone. This village is really big. This place is actually huge. I'd love to be able to come back here too, so I kind of I kinda of wanna leave the waystone. Ah, oh, that's that's why no, I mmm I have to. It's too nice here. I I have to. I just used all that time. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, that wasn't even that far. We actually just found another village. Wow. Oh, this village has a really cool snowman in the middle, and it has emeralds for eyes. What? He's got emeralds for eyes. Is this another temple? We could take on another temple. It only really um, is based upon how many like Totems of Undying we get, right? If we get enough Totems of Undying, we could take on as many of these temples as we want. Oh, nice. 
Only problem is I keep using all the waystones I keep getting. All right, let's go rob these guys of theirs, and then we're gonna go find our woodland mansion. While flying those thousands of blocks with my elytra, I kept finding gold. Non-stop. Without that much space in between them, I kept running into different villages with more waystones, and each of them conveniently had more legendary dungeons nearby. Buy. I ran into a couple of snowy ones, I ran into a plain one, and I even found this really gorgeous one covered in flowers in the middle of a birch forest. But anyways, after that long journey was finally over, I had made it to the Woodland Mansion. Oh, I don't like that. Alright guys, let's fight. Come here, bud. Oh, they have names. Aha, they still hurt. Oh, I heard the evoker. Oh, he's over there. Ow. Okay, that actually didn't do that much. Come here. Come here, man. Yes! Totem of Undying. One Totem of Undying secured. These are so much easier to fight in survival mode. And not in hardcore. Well, I guess survival mode is hardcore, but you know what I mean. They're, they're easier to fight, not in hardcore. Now that I was here and ready to take on the evokers, I sent these guys scattering through the mansion, running for their lives. Overall, this wasn't really that much of a process because there weren't really that many of them. I killed a bunch of vindicators and I ended up taking out two evokers. But at that point, I couldn't really find any other enemies and there weren't any on the map. But at least I did find this nice little prison cell with a couple of kinda useless allays inside. I mean, they're really cool, and one of them almost stole my sword, but I mean, besides the whole stealing being cool thing, these guys were okay. Well, I guess I finished the place. There's not really much left. That kind of sucks, but you know what? I got two Totems of Undying, and I just realized if I'm going to do another legendary battle. I think I need more PCs. Maybe, uh, maybe three PCs will be fine. We'll see what happens. My Pokemon are high enough levels. I kind of just want to wing it. We're going to take on a legendary. Uh. Uh. Am I going to take on a legendary? All right, I might have figured it out. I don't think these are meant to be what they are. These are called temples. These are legendary temples. The smaller ones are legendary altars. And then legendary dungeons are supposedly underground. This is where I'm confused though. Why do these exist then? But that's when I realized while looking at the page for the mod that we may not be able to do a random encounter legendary, but there was a legendary that I could do. So I went back to my base and gathered the supplies I needed to take on Zapdos because you could summon Zapdos by using four Thunderstones, which conveniently was the exact amount that I had in my chest. Anyways, it is time. We're gonna place out our... They're in here somewhere. We're gonna place out our healing things. And we are going to take on... Zapdos. I don't know what level he's gonna be. It is time! Look at this boy! Look at him! Look at Zapdos! Oh man, this is exciting. Okay. He's level 55. That's a little problematic. We're going to go at him with Gengar then. Uh, Nightshade should be my weakest attack. I'm not risking that. We're going to put him to sleep. Okay, I don't know if that lightning was... This, this is too perfect. This is too perfect. Come on, put him to sleep, dude. Are you kidding me? G Gengar. Gengar, come on. Huh? Gengar, come... G Gengar, dude, you are... Okay, he's asleep. He's asleep. It's time. We're gonna catch him in an Ultra Ball because it matches. <laughs> he's kind of derpy looking. Look, look at Zapdos. <laughs> it is time. If this catches in one ball, then I I feel like they're... Okay, no, it didn't. I was gonna say, if Rayquaza... So we just got a full odds catch on Rayquaza. That is crazy. I made all of those items just to throw one ball at Rayquaza. I think he, he keeps trying to use Thunder and he keeps missing Thunder. 
I need to get him in the red. He's not asleep anymore. Come on. Wait. He has roost? Oh, that's not cool. And he just killed Gengar. Okay. This battle is intense, I'll tell you that. Um... Umbreon's got the least actual attack. We're gonna hit him with Dark Pulse. Okay, we can hit him with two Dark Pulses. That'll put him down to the red. <gasps> no! Umbreon, you killed Zapdos! Umbreon! Oh! Umbreon, what have you done? Why did your attack crit? Gengar can't even hit things! This adventure has left me speechless. And if you do all enjoy this video, then please do leave a like and a comment down below about what you liked or didn't like, or just anything in general. Because honestly, I would love to do another one of these videos. This was so much fun, and the Kabamon mod makers are absolutely phenomenal at what they do. And they've been pushing out updates very quickly. So it's likely if we do come back and revisit this world, there will be even more Pokemon to catch. And we can start taking on the legendaries. And I know, I didn't build a roof for my house. My house is still incomplete. But you know what? It's the journey that matters. Anyways, this has been Pain Domination, and I will see you all in the next video.